what he has to do. Hallelujah. Those of you outside, can you give God a shout of praise? I want you to intimidate those inside. <laughs> Hallelujah. Hallelujah. No other name like the name of Jesus. That's the name. There's no other name like the name of the Lord. No other name like the name of Jesus is worthy of glory is worthy of honor is worthy of power and praise sing there's no other name no other name like the name of Jesus no other name no other name like the name of the Lord He's worthy of honor. He's worthy of power and praise. Hallelujah. Are you there? Acts chapter 3. A great general of God before, before he left to be with the Lord. The man we know as Oral Roberts. At one time, he was the greatest healing evangelist in the entire United States. He walked in such magnificent levels of power and healing. And when asked, what's the greatest healing, the greatest secret to experience the healing and the miracle working power of God in a meeting, miracle crusade or whatever kind of meeting, I thought he was going to say greater anointing or great worship or good ushers good sound system but oral robert said something that caught my attention it didn't make sense but when a man has walked in a realm listen to him hallelujah because you see in their days they didn't just minister to the crowds he laid hands on thousands of people one by one Hallelujah. They could lay hands on about five to 35,000 people from morning till night. He saw all kinds of miracles. Oral Roberts was a man of faith. He had faith like a lion. Hallelujah. And shortly before he went to be with the Lord, he left the secret here upon the earth. And then he left to join the cloud of witnesses. That are watching us today and i want to share with you very briefly what a father of faith a general indeed these are men that the heavens will salute them as they are coming you don't cry for their bed the, the, they are the kind of people that you don't mourn their death it's a thanksgiving a promotion of a general and oral roberts said miracles happen in response to only one word expectation expectation acts chapter 3 lord jesus the power of god is so strong in this place tonight now peter and john went up together into the temple at the hour of prayer being the ninth hour that will be 3 p.m our time he said and a certain man didn't tell us what his name was he said a certain man lame from birth was carried whom they laid daily at the gate of the temple which is called beautiful many men have commented in this scripture and said 
an ugly situation sitting at a beautiful gate hallelujah to ask arms of them that entered into the temple verse 3 who seeing peter and john about to go into the temple asked and arms and peter fastening his eyes upon him with john said look on us then verse 5 let's read it together one to read he said and he gave heed to them what expecting to receive something although he was lame hallelujah and they kept him at the gates because in jewish days those people who were unclean by any standard could not associate themselves with the normal people but that man sat down there and although he could not move he didn't have a voice but the bible records that he had an expectation hallelujah and he voiced out his expectation every time people asked past him because he called on them and he said give me arms the bible says he expected to receive something and our father or our robot told us that this is one of the biggest secrets in the atmosphere where the miracle working power of god finds expression expectation hallelujah it's amazing how that believers come into the presence of god and we have no expectation hallelujah every time you come into god's presence you must have a well-defined well thought about expectation don't just come and say lord i know you will do what you will do no no because you see the realm of the spirit the anointing of god responds to your expectation your expectation is like a magnet in the realm of the spirit listen to me your expectation is the breeding ground for miracles you will never get a miracle if you don't expect one and even when you do you will not sustain it because you will not appreciate it an expectation will create hunger in you the woman with the issue of blood had an expectation and she said to herself if i may but touch the helm of his garment i shall be made whole although it was violating the levitical law as far as it governed holiness and cleanliness at that time but she said i will risk everything i have an expectation i know that if i can only touch the hem of his garment hallelujah blind Bartimaeus, when jesus was passing and that would be the last time he would pass that street blind Bartimaeus, although he was blind when he heard that jesus was passing the bible says he cried he said thou son of david have mercy on me and the religious people were kicking him away and they said don't the bible says he shouted them all there's something about expectation it it creates an atmosphere of faith your expectation is the heartbeat of faith hallelujah that i expect to receive and so you pray you plan you are not distracted when you come with an expectation you are not distracted you say lord there is an anointing tonight that will come upon my life and cause me to rise and rule in the midst of my enemies and your expectation prepares your spirit so that as the holy ghost is moving and blessing people your heart is open the bible says he expected to receive something from them and indeed he received hallelujah tonight many of us have come inside and outside some have come with prayer requests some of you have fasted and prayed preparing for this meeting say lord you will change my story and that of my family listen if god cannot help you then our gathering is useless our confidence is in the fact that god is able hallelujah able he's almighty all powerful every time god wants to release miracles into your life he begins to magnify himself suddenly you begin to see how mighty and the bible says they limited him in the wilderness by saying can god make a way for them and he supplied manna suddenly the holy spirit begins to remind you of the things that god has done that's why testimonies are important because it reminds you 
of the faithfulness of Jesus. Moses instructed the people. He said, as your children grow, make sure they don't lose touch of what God is doing and his miraculous act. Take out time to teach them. Let the children know. Every time they built altars, they said, when the children ask, let them know that it was on account of the hand of God. God is still doing miracles. God is a miracle walking God. Are you listening to me? You must convince yourself tonight. Tonight is not the time when you begin to question and say, how can cancer disappear? You see, when I hear people ask these questions, it's because they do not stay in God's presence. When you stay in God's presence, you begin to acclimatize to his realities. Hallelujah. How in the world can you explain a genotype changing from SS to AA? How in the world can you explain HIV going? living a man one moment you are hiv positive one moment you are healed one moment you have cancer one moment you are on a wheelchair another moment you are up one moment someone is dead another moment is back to life listen i need you to understand that the secret of miracles is to realize that god is a creator say after me a creator you see unbelief the the environment that we live in has brought so much unbelief in us hallelujah when a lady begins to feel a lump grow in her nobody questions and says where did the molecules gather themselves and begin to crystallize together hallelujah and then to begin to grow and become a tumor but when we say it's disappearing people ask all kinds of questions and say where did it go to how did it come where did it come in the first place someone who was born and can hear suddenly becomes deaf and then they say this and this went bad and then we do not ask ourselves how did the deterioration start but when god is reversing the process we begin to question and say are these deaf people are they really hearing are the blind people really see when you understand that god is a creator say after me god is a creator and the creative nature of God is such that the only raw material that is needed is the word of God. Listen, all that you see is not all that there is. That's going to, I'm, I'm giving you a revelation that will make you accept the miracle working power of God. All that you see is not all that there is. I hope you realize that there are insects in this place. There are microorganisms in this place. Can you see them? But you will know when you drop something here it will ferment after days is that correct the fact that your optical eyes cannot see the entire span of the universe and the things that god has created does not mean they are not in existence are you listening to me he was in a valley full of dry bones ezekiel 37 and he said son of man these bones are very dry one one bone is down there miles away kilometers away buried in the depth of the earth and he says son of man i want to show you something about the creative power of god's word i am about to speak and if you repeat after me every bone still knows his identity and it can connect back he said and as i spoke suddenly there was a sound the same sound in acts chapter 2 verse 1 down to 4 and 5 and 6 hallelujah the same sound is the sound of the creative power of god There are body parts in heaven. All kinds of body parts. Listen, God didn't stop creation. The Bible says, For thou hast created all things for thy pleasure. They are and were created. They were created and are being created. God is still creating things. How did he create you in the first place? How can a little seed come from a man and begin to grow until it becomes a full grown baby? we don't ask that question there is more to our realm than what our eyes can see we call certain cells unicellular how can a unicellular organism a fungi whatever it is enter your body whether through air or water and know exactly where your heart is as complex as you are you call it a unicellular organism and it has so much intelligence 
to go right to your heart and cause a heart condition. Hallelujah. It will see your bones. It will jump. It will go everywhere and look for certain particular parts. Who told the unicellular organism that this is your brain? Why didn't it come here? Hallelujah. That's the ex exact same where the power of God is. The power of God is like a drug. When it is released, it goes into your body and begins to search every part that does not line up. Suddenly, it moves. If there's nothing wrong with your head, it will move. If there's nothing wrong with your hands, it will go. See, we direct the power of God by the words that we speak. That's why when we say cancer, suddenly, by the Spirit of God, the anointing of God is moving. That's why not everybody is affected when you mention certain cases. The atmosphere of His presence, you need to realize that the power of creation is what brings about miracles said so let there be and there was let there be and there was let there be and there was hallelujah a man called william branham he walked in such dangerous realms of the prophetic that he would sit down in the bush and he would watch squirrels be created and just run into the bush that answers that question is it the egg that came first or the chicken it really doesn't matter any of them can still come hallelujah the, a man called elisha the children laughed at him and said he was a bald-headed man the bible says suddenly he called a beer where did the beer come out from just came out consumed them and went back jesus christ after the people searched for fish all through the night they couldn't catch any he told them he said cast your net at the right side the power of creation brought those fish you really think it's scientists that are preserving the resources in the earth there is creation going on that's the same way they can say ah you have no you have a missing body part and the creative word of god see the secret of miracles is the word becoming flesh see the bible says the word became flesh and did what dwelt so the word of god can become flesh are you following me now when it becomes flesh so the word of god can become a new heart the word of god can become anything you want it to be the word became flesh when it becomes flesh that's what you call a miracle the word becoming flesh manifesting in your midst hallelujah that's the first revelation the power of creation is the power of miracles number two everything in the earth animate and inanimate has the ability to hear this is a revelation that if you do not have the prophets were mad people they would turn to the earth and say oh earth hear ye the word of the lord were they stupid people how can a man speak to the ground all earth hear ye the word of the lord joshua commanded the son and he said son hear me stand still you need to realize that there is more than science has taught you everything in the earth mr niger you call it use it and do very well in school but let me tell you when it comes to reigning in life you must realize that there are very good common characteristics between living things and non-living things one of it is that they all can hear they all have the ability to hear hallelujah they all have the ability to hear that's the reason why the native doctors in your village can sit down and come out and speak to the air i i, I schooled in a very demonic place and uh, they had a supernatural ability to hold rain rain will not fall on their market days 
you will see heavy cloud by every geographical prediction it would have been rain you see the people moving happily carrying more goods to the market nobody is there's no emergency no stress no rain because certain ancient people understood this and then later in the night at about 2 a.m with no um no sign you suddenly see rain heavy rain that was the rain that would have fallen in the afternoon everything has the ability to hear the word of the lord number three what we call sickness please look up what we call sickness and diseases whether cancer ear problem all of these things i need you to know that there are demonic spirits and strongholds behind them are you listening to me you can give it any medical condition but i hope you realize whether it is through your carelessness or through whatever and so the secret of miracles really is the authority of the lord jesus christ dislodging the power of satan and then the anointing that comes with the word of god bringing a recreation i follow me now the bible tells us in the book of luke i think luke 12 about the woman who was bent over for 18 years hallelujah when jesus saw her he said woman thou art loosed look who bounded her because we just knew that she stooped down but jesus saw in the realm of the spirit that this woman had been bound bound by what the power of satan and he said woman you are loosed from your infirmity do you realize that the bible says the woman was still bent over but she had been loosed then what happened he laid hands on her and brought her up. Hallelujah. And so the purpose of the name of Jesus is because that's the name. The Bible says at the mention of that name, every knee shall bow of things in heaven, of things in the earth, and of things under the earth. So the purpose of the name of Jesus, every time you come into a healing meeting, you see we emphasize the name of Jesus because that's the name. That's the name that all authority and all power. Every authority you can imagine in the universe and in the heavens has been vested in that name, Jesus. So when we mention that name, all the demons and the principalities and the powers and even nature and all the biological components of your body realize that that is the authority creation and then as the anointing of God goes in answer to the name of Jesus to the power of his spoken word creation begins to happen and suddenly someone who is deaf in his ears suddenly finds out I can hear why because you see the purpose of the anointing is to make earth look like heaven are you following me now the anointing is God's energy is his ability to do work and so every time the anointing of God is released it's released in response to the word of God and it's supposed to bring your life to conformity with the atmosphere of heaven so when we worship and we begin to release the word of God what happens everything that does not represent the atmosphere of heaven begins to leave and demons begin to leave and imperfections begin to adjust themselves so what is your role tonight expectation the creative one is in our midst his word is strong in our midst. The Bible says that a shout of a king is in the midst of them. And God is ready to do great and awesome things. But you see, if you just come and you want to watch miracles and things happen and say, Wow, another powerful meeting. You, you shouldn't be a spectator tonight. You must come and say, Lord, you are a creator. Even if it is over your finances. It took God seven days to create the heavens and the earth. I don't know how long. Calculate it mathematically. How long will it take him to change your story? Hallelujah. I know it doesn't change. A whole land called Samaria. Their economy changed overnight. Overnight. See, the word of God is powerful. When the word of God is spoken, it knows no limits. 
Hallelujah. So you send a word to your father who has been bounded and is just moving in the village and the word of God takes a hold of him. Suddenly things begin to change. You must believe in the power of God's word. Hallelujah. You must have expectation. I'm telling you your own role tonight. Number one is expectation. Have a high expectation. Don't limit God. The Bible says, the prophet told her, go and borrow vessels. He said, borrow, not a few. Borrow vessels. Borrow vessels. And the Bible says, when there was no more vessel, the oil kept flowing. And so tonight, enlarge your capacity. Have great expectations. That's why we ask everyone to come with your request. If you're here and you've not written your prayer request, get something. It's not just a ritual. It's not just a ritual, friends. We have received testimonies in this place. And I'm glad that these testimonies have happened in the, among people that you, can, you know and you can relate with. Expectation. Number two, you must take steps of obedience. Say steps of obedience. This is probably one of the biggest reasons why people do not receive. In our text, Acts chapter 3, listen, the Bible says something. Let's read verse 6. Acts chapter 3 verse 6. Then Peter said, Silver and gold have I none, but such as I have, give I thee in the name of Jesus Christ. Rise up and walk. Hallelujah. I, I, I used, I, I did an illustration with this and let me do it again. Mike, can you come on, Ruben, come with your chair and let's do an illustration. I am Peter. The only difference is that I'm wearing suit. Hallelujah. Okay, so this is Peter. Please sit down. Watch this. This was the man at the gate, beautiful, lame from birth. Are you following me now? Now Peter comes to him and says, silver and gold have I known. He said, but such as I have, give I unto thee. Listen, he said, in the name of Jesus of Nazareth, rise up and walk. Guess what happened? The man was still sitting there. I'll show you in a moment. The man didn't get up. He didn't walk. It looked as though he didn't receive a miracle. He had expectation, but he didn't have the second point. Steps of obedience. And let's, let's read what happened. Verse 7. Are you ready? One to read. And then Peter took him by the right hand. That means he was still seated. And Peter said, Mr. Man, it doesn't work that way. Give me your hand. Watch this. This sign shall follow. Not go before. Follow. As you take steps of obedience, the signs follow. What does it mean to follow? Lead the way with your step of faith. God is committed to a performance. These signs shall follow. Hallelujah. And so when, if, if you are deaf in one ear, and they say, or two ears, and they say, lay your hands, your participation is part of the progress, the, the process that brings your miracle. Hallelujah. And they say, be healed check yourself just go ahead and check yourself many people just sit down like like one of the ministers was sharing steps of obedience hallelujah you receive your miracle by faith you declare it the bible says that 10 lepers met jesus and they beckoned on him to heal them he said go and show yourself to the priest the bible says as they went as they went suddenly they found out that they were healed these signs shall follow. And so Peter reached out. And the Bible says as he took him up suddenly, he now committed the power of God to work. Listen to me. Listen. One of the reasons why many people do not receive miracles is they are not taught how to receive one. Are you listening to me? It's not just when you are called out maybe by word of knowledge and all of this. No. Whether or not your case is mentioned, once that atmosphere is there, the atmosphere where the manifested presence of God is, with his healing power, you open up your spirit and you receive. And you say, in the name of the Lord Jesus, I receive. Thank you, Jesus. Suddenly, you begin to do what you couldn't do before. If you couldn't walk well, suddenly you begin to walk. Don't say, can I leave the first leg? You take the step. 
and you will receive a root shock suddenly you find out that the energy and the ability of god comes in as simple as this is this has brought tremendous miracles let me tell you i'll share one testimony one of the most profound miracles that i've seen in my life is the miracle of a dear gentleman his brother was in this school i'm sure he has graduated from abu maybe two or so years ago this guy was in these are verified stories you can find out even from shika hallelujah and he was working in a, i think the war college or army something naval school or something like that and then he had an accident now i don't know what they call it a kind of fracture where this bone is damaged badly i follow me now and this guy was in a situation they wrapped his neck you know with all of this pop that they put and it was a dangerous situation they had to they told the parents they would need to bring specialists and the neurosurgeons who would come the chances of his survival if at all is very 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 faint hallelujah and then i didn't know much about the healing power of god and the miraculous so i was i think around chapel in the night they told me about him a lady called rebecca rebecca lamai she graduated remember her hallelujah and so she told me about the situation i said god will heal that guy and you know there are some miracles that when you say god will do it the recipients, the recipients say amen meaning oh god do what only you can do i don't want to know anything about just do it and i shared this to the glory of god i called him night call hallelujah and the guy was in pains he was shouting i said gentlemen i didn't call to sympathize with you i called to tell you you will be healed right now the guy was shocked i mean what kind of faith is this i told him i said all right so talk to god about your miracle and then i'll call you back in five minutes i was strolling he was on phone hallelujah and i called him let me confess i don't know if i was expecting the miracle to happen i'm not sure well i i now i know i wasn't sure then but then i think i, I, I was i thought i was sure hallelujah i was just trying to pray you know experiment everything and learn lessons from it after all i didn't collect money from him i had nothing to lose so when you collect money you are committed to back up what you have done hallelujah and now i just believed in the power of god and before i called him back i said lord do this miracle you are faithful and you are able to do it i didn't feel anything no goosebumps no anointing no prophetic word hitting me and god said now son today you step into the miracle no nothing i didn't feel anything in fact i was hungry that morning hallelujah and i called him and when i called him it was obvious he didn't believe he just wanted me to do this thing and and get out and i said in the name of the lord jesus and suddenly i felt in my spirit god was saying don't say be healed describe what you want to happen and i said in the name of jesus i command new vertebral column completely from his neck down watch this as soon as i did that i told the guy i said remove your bracelet you know that's risky isn't it you don't want a family to travel all the way and come and meet a young man and say you are the idiot that is causing this thing to our family do you know how much money we have spent if you have not stood before the burning bush don't go before pharaoh you will die for nothing you will die for nothing are you listening to me and then i told him remove your bracelet and uh, that that thing he was putting suddenly this guy removed it god is my witness you remember i shared the story this guy began to shout he said jesus he touched his neck and that was a real miracle that's the kind of miracle you want to document when we are 30 years in ministry that's the kind of miracle I will... that well it may not look like a big deal now because of the great revelations of god it was a big deal for me then seeing the word of god come to pass this guy held the phone and ran to his mother's room i was still hearing he tapped her he said mommy i'm healed the woman shouted i had it jesus she had never seen that kind of miracle 
and they got up i was so happy i said lord this anointing is working ah no i won't lie to you i celebrated that miracle hallelujah the next day they called the father the father was shocked he said this is not true they said who they said one brother from zaria prayed in the morning and the father came when the father saw the son he began to weep are you following me now they they told the brother from congo the brother could not believe he said he must trace that person and come and look for him the next day you know how burial is that's how people gathered all the friends came to the house they took the x-ray from shika and immediately the day they took it the doctors and the nurses called me from shika so many people sorry my son i have small cancer i have small this <laughs> hallelujah i wonder who you are celebrating but i hope it's not me hallelujah are you listening to me i was shocked and then i saw how the effect of one real miracle one real miracle not fake miracles not stage managed miracle say this eye is not working are you seeing no no i'm not talking of stage managed real manifestation of the power of god and when i saw the x-ray before and after truly i knew that that song that says god is a miracle worker i truly knew that god is a miracle worker i'll never forget when we went for our crusade we're trying to trust God. Everybody was putting the word of God. We are soon going to pray. I want to stir up your faith. And you see, then he and I was not big like this. I think this was about maybe one, two, three, the first three rows. All of us, men of faith. I encouraged them. And Jimmy was almost giving up. He said, The way these villages were not ready to go and die for any for nothing. <laughs> Hallelujah mother will say i took my child from ogun state to come and die in the north and when we got there where it was time to pray for the sick you know crusades in the villages is women that come and they are elderly women they are not young people that you can call them and say please 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 just say it happened no elderly women if they are not healed you are saying are they healed i'm not healed <laughs> hallelujah and so we i remember when we came I remember a Jimmy went to a woman and he laid hands on her shaking and just trusting oh God don't disgrace me here and when he asked the woman he said are you healed the woman said yes he thought he was playing the power of God and from that time till today until forever God has been faithful bringing miracles upon miracles to the glory of his name what's the purpose of miracles to point jesus to point people to reveal the love and the compassion of jesus christ if it is true that he's a loving god then miracles prove that he does not want your life to be the way it is now miracles are not just about healing finances your life delays marriages all of these kinds of challenges and tonight i don't know what expectation you came here with tonight but i know my god my god the one i serve he's not just the god of abraham isaac and jacob he has become my god i was diagnosed of fungal infection there was nothing the doctors did in my life they did their best I took every kind of antibiotic you can talk about. I was tired of injection. This head was literally rotting. They told me I would never be able to have hair on my head again. I said, oh God, this is not my negotiation with you. And today I'm a testimony of the miracle working power of God. I was diagnosed to have an eye condition. Hallelujah. And it was so bad. And one time I was watching Benny Hinn. And then while he was ministering to the sick, I got down on my knees. I had expectation. I said, Lord, before I finish speaking, he said, There is a young man in Africa 
you're on your knees right now you have eye condition suddenly light i'm not just giving you stories light came from the television just hit my eye that was it i know god is alive many of you are too innocent you have not had cause to need a miracle you see for people who say i don't believe in miracles i have only one answer for them the day you need one you will believe in it the day you truly need one and the doctors tell you i'm sorry remember the gentleman who was healed here sadiq ibrahim how many of you remember him that terrorist guy he came and he had about two weeks to leave was seated outside right here he's on video you can get it from the media department came hiv tuberculosis demons all kinds of things curses from wherever this gentleman got healed totally with his medical verifications the doctors could not believe it born again filled with the holy spirit and tonight jesus is alive Jesus is alive. Jesus is alive. Father, I thank you because you are in the midst of your people. I thank you because you have given us the word. Thank you because you have equipped us with the anointing. Lord, I thank you for the power of the Holy Spirit. There is no other name. I bow before you, my Father. You are the great one. Let the people know I am not the healer, oh God. I pray, let the people know that I have no power in myself, not any of the ministers in ourselves. We are not ashamed to declare that the purpose of the miracles you will perform tonight is for Jesus to be Lord. And we declare that we love you, that souls will be saved tonight. Lord, I worship you. Thank you for your compassion. Thank you for cancers that will die. Thank you for restorations. Thank you because you will give everyone a testimony. Oh, I give you praise. My Father, Abba Father, thank you for all the things that you will do in our midst. Your wonder-working power. Lord, let no one leave this place without being healed and blessed. Spirit of the living God, you walked with our fathers of old and you wrought wonders through the hands of the ancient and now in this day and in this time i pray that you breathe upon us once again breathe upon us oh god and let us taste of the breath of heaven forever you the lamb upon the throne oh i worship you for the privilege of serving you i gladly bow my knees to worship you come on bless his name Forever, Forever your majesty, I bow before your majesty, Jesus, the King of Kings, the Lord of Lords, the miracle worker.
Let the nations know that you are a good God. Jesus, let the nations know that our God lives for the last time now. presence of God is strong in this place. His healing power. The Lamb. Jesus. In the midst of his people. Strong and mighty. Bringing deliverance. Ending captivity. For this purpose. Was the son of God made manifest. That he might destroy. Liquidate. And he relates the works of darkness. Hallelujah. 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 I need you to know that God is going to begin to move strongly, healing, delivering, and causing people to walk in glory. I sense the love and the power of God in this place. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Please rise up on your feet, inside and outside. God is already healing. I sense the power of God. I believe, I believe, Lord, I believe. Lord, I Let your faith believe. rise. I believe. I believe. Lord, I believe. I believe. Lord, I believe. Lord, I believe. Lord, I believe. 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 to me hallelujah please just hallelujah listen to me now there are people here who have been oppressed of satan hear me inside and outside the power of god is here to deliver i don't know why god always starts on this note hallelujah but in a moment the power of god will sweep across this entire congregation inside and outside and all those under the yoke of bondage now is the time i proclaim the time of liberty the time of liberty the time of liberty lift your hands everybody the time of liberty the time of liberty in the name of jesus every demonic oppression go 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 Go, go, inside and outside. Now, by the power of the Holy Ghost, go, be delivered, inside and outside. Let the fire of God fall. Every demon possession, leave God's people. Now, in the name of Jesus, I see the fire of God. I see rings of fire. 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 
rings of fire. Bring them out. Bring them out. Be free. Be free. Be free. Be free. Be free. Right now. Outside. Be free. Outside. Be free. Hallelujah. My God. I see the angels of God holding something like a scissors. That's what I see. As the power of God falls, I like you to bring them out. None of you will escape. In this row, I see a number of you. Now, let the power of God fall upon you. Satan, your reign ends in their life. In the name of Jesus. Let's have them all out here. Outside. 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 In the name of Jesus. Let the fire of God fall, burning everything that is not done. Hallelujah. 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 This lady has been tormented. That devil now I command you come out of her by the power of the Holy Ghost. Come out of them. Come out of them. Bring this lady for me. Bring this lady for me. Bring this lady for me. How wicked spirit. Come out of her right now. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Come out of her. I see a snake rolling over this girl. This one lying down. That devil. Come out of her in the name of Jesus. Holy Easter. The whole I see, the whole I see, I'm praying the Lord, in the whole the whole I see, the whole I see. Tonight, Satan has no reign over your life. Listen, those of you outside, those of you outside. I like all of you to shout Jesus. Listen, hold on. Hold on. God is not done yet, especially for those outside. Are you ready, those of you outside? The power of God will fall. Shout Jesus. Those outside, the power of God 
is falling, setting men free. Hallelujah. Please bring this lady. Bring all of them outside. That's what I see. Bondage. Therefore God has so highly exalted him and given him a name that is above every other name. I set you free now. Now, in the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus. Be set free. Be set free now by the power of God. She's giving herself over to look. Here the demons try to speak. Please bring her. Bring her. Shaka pato shiki tele bakosa kata. Shapa tara bako shiki tele bakso sepre. Oh yes, she will be great. Shaka pato sepre kato shanta la banda sasa. Shaka pato shiki tele bakso sepre kato shanta la banda sasa. Satan, be silent. There's no time for discussion. Now, in the name that is above all names. If God be God, leave her. Just let her go. Let her go. Don't hold her again. For that demon leaves you forever. Just let her lie down. It's gone. Be sure of that. The lady is free. Her family has been tormented. Listen. Many of you didn't listen to what her family has been tormented. That's what I see. There has been all kinds of setbacks and challenges. Her family has suffered so much. And God brought her on behalf of her family. And we proclaim liberty forever. Indeed, you, your family will know you attended a miracle service. Please call this lady, this one, bring her. at me look at me I command you to look at me by the power that is in the name of Jesus look at me it's not a suggestion Satan go let her go leave her alone just let her be Satan go out of her right now bring this lady come for the Lord will set you free and use you as a weapon of glory for your family the cares of this life you must lay them aside to love only him who is worthy for he that breaks the hedge the serpent will strike in the name of Jesus, we set you free. Be free in the name of Jesus. Deborah. 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 Who is Deborah? And then I'm hearing another name. Is it Ndahi? There's something sounds like Ndahi or something. Andy something. Who is that? That's your name? 
okay you are deborah i'm hearing a name like ndahi is it ndahi or there's nda something who is that person hallelujah please listen attentively because god is bringing words to help you the lord still calls that name for me again ndahi is it in that here or in that something? Who is that? Is it any of you? What's your name? Deborah. Deborah. And that here. Hallelujah. The Lord says He's bringing a miracle to and that here or something. Hallelujah. And then you wake up every, listen, you wake up every morning and, um, the right side the right side you've had an issue with it for a very long time in fact you're afraid of going to the hospital just the right side from your heart down severe pains it happens especially when you wake up in the morning who is that you're the one come Hallelujah. Please lay your hands. I'll pray for you. Just lay your hands there. In the name of Jesus, be healed now. Be healed now by the power of the Holy Spirit. I command that pain to go now. In the name of Jesus, please check yourself. Where are the Deborahs? Please hold your hands together. Come. Deborah. Kaduna. Who is from Southern Kaduna here? Yeah. You are the one from Southern Kaduna. Where is your father? Your father is at home. Yeah. Where does he live? In Zaria here. Yeah. He lives in Zaria. Yeah. Tell your father, are you listening to me? Yes. That the Lord is restoring his years of tears. This is what God says I should tell you. Are you listening to me? You came with an expectation even for your father. Is that correct? Yes. I want you to know that God has answered your prayer. This for you is a new, is a miracle service. Hallelujah. Um, you or one of your relatives here has been writing jam. I see someone walking into a post you and me. One of your relatives or you. You? You have been writing jam. Yes. Why were you afraid of lifting your hands? God wants to set you free. Did you buy jam foam? You bought this jam foam. This is the last one you are going to write. The very last one. The very last one you are going to write. Your elder brother does business. Who is that? I mean, among these people, I see one, your elder brother does business. Deborah, elder brother does business. Hallelujah. I hope is not sitting in the crowd because God wants to bring a word for that person. He will have what looks like a temporary setback, but it will open him up to an opportunity he never imagined. This is to bring comfort for him at that time. I pray for all of you right now in the name of Jesus that God will I'm seeing a leopard running that's what I'm seeing, an animal, a leopard running. And God is saying, I should prophesy speed upon your lives. I command and I decree it in the name of Jesus. You will run. You will run and you will do great things. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. God bless you. There is an elderly woman outside. Mama, there is an elderly woman that came outside. I don't know if it's that your daughter brought you least i know there may be different um, you are wearing you are, she has her tie like a rapper a rapper uh, her tie please is there a woman like that mama an elderly woman outside hallelujah please let's hurry up so we can save time i see an elderly woman outside someone you, you, 
you're dying uh, like hallelujah your son name is Stevens 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 who is that your son name is Stevens hallelujah who is that your son name is Stevens Please, as we bring these words, just hurry up so that we'll save time. You are the one. Your son name is Stevens. What's your dad doing? Well, um, he is a principal now. He is? He's a principal. He's a principal? Yes, sir. Of which school? Uh, uh, a private school. It's owned by Equa. It's owned by Equa? Yes, sir. Is he planning to leave? There was a time he came back and he was complaining, you know, that the administration, the school administration, you know, they are not really doing what... Shortly, your father is going to leave. God is going to give him a greater responsibility. Go and tell him. That's why I'm telling you. Do you understand? And Lord, we release this miracle in the name of Jesus. We release this miracle. You're here, your third prayer point. You came, your third prayer point is that... Um, has to do with childbirth your third prayer point I think for your auntie or your sister your third prayer point who is that person your third prayer point exactly the third one the third one the third one your third prayer point for the Lord has an eye that sees he sees beyond hallelujah all of you your third prayer point hold on Hold on, don't just come out because we are going to pray for everyone. All of you, your third prayer point. Okay, we are going to pray. You will be shocked at what God will do for you. Hallelujah. Selena is here. She can testify. Of one of the women we prayed for some years ago. And the woman has triplets right now. All doing well. In the name of the Lord Jesus, in this miracle meeting, we declare, I sense the power of God strong upon seven years without a child. Who does that case? Seven years, exactly seven years. That's the, this is the prophetic year. Go and tell her. She will take in in three months from now and she will give birth. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Madam, you're standing in for yourself, for somebody. Who is standing in? I, there's someone is standing for yourself. Yourself. Inside and out. There's somebody who should be standing for yourself. If you are pleased, if you are in the congregation, come. Inside and outside. You're standing for yourself. Are you married? Someone told you prophetically that you will not give birth to children. Ah. Well, the ministers will pray for you. Listen, listen. Whose report will you believe? Tonight we terminate everything. All of you here, please lift your hands. Let's hurry up. I decree right now, in the name of Jesus, for all the people you are standing for, we release miracle children right now. Miracle children in the name of jesus and for some of them i command that fibroid to come out of the womb and let them be able to take in we decree it we declare it receive it right now in the name of jesus god bless you please go back quickly hallelujah now if you have any kind of heart condition heart condition please come out quickly hold in your heart uh, abnormal heartbeat whatever it is please come quickly inside and outside heart condition do we have people with that kind of situation any heart condition please come quickly heart condition we give you 
the highest we give you we give you we give you the highest we give you we give you heart condition now is the time for you to be healed we give you Lord As we pray for you, check yourself right away. Are you listening to me? Check yourself right away and begin to do the things that you couldn't do. Are you listening to me? Those with peptic ulcer, get ready. Hallelujah. We give you now by the power of the Holy Ghost. We give now by the power of the Holy Ghost. Go! A mental problem run quickly come you you're the one with the friends brother no no your brother the person wrote for his brother your brother a mental condition come a mental condition what's wrong with him he was affected because of drugs drugs yes. he was taking drugs yes, sir. where is he now He's at home. Yes, Hallelujah. Amen. Come, this this lady, you, your brother, where is he? She be inside school. He's not fine. Yes, the thing comes like like epilepsy, but it's not really epilepsy. Okay. It comes like midnight. Start convulsing. You believe God will heal him? All of you here believe God will step in. God brought you out here and we, we are going to pray for you right now. Enough is enough. Are you listening to me? We are going to pray. In the name of Jesus, I declare 
upon all of you standing here we release miracles every spirit of madness now be free from it you're standing on behalf of your brothers i command freedom and emancipation by the power of the holy spirit in the name of jesus christ in the name of jesus christ god bless you please go back to your seat peptic ulcer peptic ulcer just lift your hands where you are peptic ulcer you are suffering from peptic ulcer who is that person please come out just come out peptic ulcer quickly inside and outside those with peptic ulcer mama god brought you to this meeting tonight to heal you Amen. hallelujah Amen. you don't just have peptic ulcer you have different things different things pain in your back pain in your joints headache in the morning your eyes pains you your teeth the back of your teeth different so different all kinds of problems but mama god is going to heal you Amen. hallelujah Amen. god is going to heal you Amen. hallelujah Amen. grace is there any grace here grace who is grace you are grace god is going to heal you right now are you listening to me god is going to heal you right now please mama just bring your hand as we pray for you satan the light shines upon our mother right now and we terminate sickness and infirmity we command that you will live long to see the blessings of the lord therefore be healed now mama just breathe in and out god bless you just breathe in and out you are totally healed hallelujah now all of you with um one of you also has hepatitis b who is that one of you here has hepatitis b i hope you are aware hepatitis b come you were diagnosed in the hospital with hepatitis b god is going to heal everything are you listening to me right away okay just lay your hands on your chest in the name of the lord jesus christ ulcer and hepatitis go total healing total healing in the name of jesus now i want to pray for you and then we'll let the ministers truly hope rises tonight i want to challenge come my brother i saw an alarm clock ringing upon your head god is telling you it's time are you listening to me it's time to come to him and get very serious I just saw an alarm clock and it was ringing you know what that means it's time time to come back to the lord you believe what i'm saying does it make sense to you god wants to heal you god wants to bless you but he also wants to use you to do great things and there is love for you okay in the name of jesus i pray for you be healed now by the power of the holy spirit let all all of you just lay your hands as I pray for you. I'll release the power of God upon you and you'll be healed right now. Hallelujah. In the name of Jesus, everyone here I declare, be healed now. In the name of Jesus, now be healed. See the power of God is so strong. In the name of Jesus, be healed, totally healed, totally healed. I declare your healing in the name of Jesus. Sir, God has healed you. You, God has healed you right now. In the name of Jesus. God bless you. Please check yourselves. We'll try and see if we can take testimonies today. God bless you. Go back to your seat quickly. Hallelujah.
to know tonight that God, the presence of God is in this place. His presence is here. Shatarabakosa. His presence is here. His mighty power. His mighty power is here. Shatarabakarabakosa. I see miracles everywhere. I see miracles everywhere. I see miracles everywhere. I say right now, and right now, and miracles everywhere. Ha! Ah, and miracles everywhere. And miracles everywhere.
miracles everywhere miracles everywhere right now right now miracles everywhere shut up miracles everywhere miracles everywhere right now right now I'm saying miracles everywhere miracles everywhere
Sing, pray in the spirit. Outside, inside. Go ahead, forget about who is by your side. You are alone with God. God will do wonders in this place tonight. Don't watch anybody, don't watch anybody. Just go ahead and pray in the spirit. The power of God is present. The power of God is present. Rakata la kaprakata kata balada ba, mabrata kata prakata, mabrosko prakata, embroto shekata lekata, mabrakata la ba 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 ba, leke prakata leke 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 rosho, embrakata ba 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 ba, rekata brosko prakata. Rakata prakata darabash, rakata prakata kata bela de boko so prakate. Let the devil know you mean business tonight. Let powers know you mean business tonight. Tonight is not one of those services. Rakata prakata de boko so prakata bela de ba. Mam prakata prakata kata prakata bela de bos. Mam prakata kata prakata bela de boko so prakata bela de bos. Embrakata baka prakata la boko so prakata bela de bos. Shakata da 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 bos. Rakata boko so prakata bela de bos. Embrakata bela de baka so prakata bela de bos. Rakata prakata bela de bos. Embrakata bela de bos. Shakata embrakata bela de bos. Rakata ba 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 ba. Makata prakata la kasa prakata. Embrakata boshota. Rebas kare ba senda dara. Eka boto so prata shala bo sabari alaba. Mamba toka baka shekete. Embrakata kete ba kata ba na ba kasa ba. Mamba kata ba 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 ba. Rakata ba kasa shekete. Embrakata ba kata la ba kasa ba. Mamba kete ke. Embroso pata Maria ta la ba shata. Meka prakate. Lekata kata ba kata. Bakata ba 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 ba, me boko to boko to ba na na bakate. Bakata ba, me ka bakata ka dosh. Em proto so prega de ba na na ba. Na na ba na na ba ka na prega de ba na 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 ba. Ma prega de ba na ka na prega de ba na na ba. Na ka na prega de ba na na ba ka na prega de ba na na ba. Rakata prakata balada bakasa prakata balada ros. Rakata bakate prakate. Rakata bata. Get angry in your spirit. Get determined in your spirit tonight. Shaka balada baska prakata balada bakasa prakata balada ba. Rakata ba 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 ba. Rakata ba 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 ba. Rakata bakasa kata ba. Embrokoto bakapre. Rakata broskoto prakata balada bos. Rakata balada bas. Don't be staring around at your neighbor. Go ahead and pray. Rakata balada baka prakate. Rakata brosko pariaba. That's none of your business. What your neighbor is doing. Rakata brosko sopa. El brosko pateke. Lem prakata lake brosa. El brosko pata. Rakata kate. Rakata kama kata prakata. Mam brosko to prakate. Rabo sho prakate balada ba. Meka prakate balada ba. Rakata brosko pato pasha. El broto sopa daba rakata balada ba. Don't stop praying. Pray in the spirit.
the power of darkness must let your destiny go tonight something must break loose in your life tonight something must break loose in your family tonight there must be a rain in your life tonight there must be a revival in your life tonight there must be a restoration in your life tonight there must be an upgrade you must enter a new level tonight you must enter a new level tonight go ahead and pray in tongues lord something must change you must carry an anointing tonight. You must contact an unction tonight. That terminal disease must die tonight. That cancer must die tonight. That HIV must die tonight. That genotype must change tonight. That spell, that yoke of darkness, that curse, that activity of witchcraft must die tonight. Your heavens must open tonight. That closed heaven must open tonight. That closed heaven must open tonight. That marital door must open tonight. That financial door must open tonight. That door of opportunity must open. The Bible says, knock, knock, knock. He said the door will open. Knock, the door will open. Say, Lord, I'm tired. I'm tired. I'm tired. Like Jacob, something must leave me tonight and something else must come upon me tonight men will say is Saul also a prophet no power in hell will stop the fire of the Holy Ghost Rakata, <laughs> Rakata, 
and we're going to be praying. Ephesians 1, from verse 17 to 19. Paul began to pray and said, For this cause I bow my knees to the Father of our Lord Jesus Christ. Paul was praying for the church in Ephesus. He says that he may grant unto you the spirit of wisdom and revelation, illumination, accurate knowledge of the operation of the things of the kingdom. Hallelujah. I did a teaching some weeks ago, the walking knowledge of the word. Can I tell you something? Any knowledge you know that cannot improve the quality of your life and advance the kingdom of God is junk. Kick it out. It doesn't matter how, how powerful it is. Because the Bible says, ye shall know the truth. And if it is really the truth, it will set you free. Are you listening to me? Many of us have knowledge that puff up, but it's not consistent with the operation of the kingdom. It's time for you to begin to edit a lot of things. Don't let people fool you with. Listen, see, the apostle speaking said, we did not teach cunningly devised fables. In order, these things are not just grammar. They exist. They are not just cunningly devised fables. Philosophies of men that are nice. You have quoted them. You have done a lot of things. It's time to pray. Paul prayed and said, the spirit of revelation. He said that you may understand in all you're getting. Get understanding know how it works don't just know that it works know how it works wisdom tells you what to do understanding tells you how to do it the kingdom of god is a system it's a structure you can learn its operation it is this learning of the operation that is called revelation revelation is not just some spooky things about dimensions about what color blue means in the spirit and what green means if that thing is not improving your life and making you a man of power and grace if it's not changing your territory and if it's not advancing the kingdom of god kick it out many of us have knowledge that puffs us up yet demons can stand look you to the face and oppress you the bible says there ever learning ever learning but never coming to the comprehension, epigenosco, the accurate understanding of the way spiritual things work. Ever learning, receiving, rema upon rema. Can I tell you something? There is a way. Jesus said, I am the way. He didn't say, I am one of the many ways. I am the way. The principles of the kingdom can be known. You can know that you know them. The apostle says that which we have seen, that which we have heard, that which our hands have, at what points did he handle it? He says, such as I have, a man can know when he has something. Such as I have. And there is an anointing that opens the eyes of men. Are you hearing me? If you go to a native doctor, there is something he can do to your eyes. And when others are looking, you are seeing. Revelation 3.18. It says, anoint your eyes with eye salve that you may see. There is an anointing that causes your eyes to see. So that you will accurately understand the operation of things. Anoint your eyes with eye salve then you will see. We are going to pray. You are going to say, Lord, it's not just for miracle service tonight. I want to receive things that I know how they came so that I can reproduce the result again and again. If you are healed and you don't know how it's there, what if you go to a territory where there is no koinonia? We are raising ambassadors. What makes ambassador is knowledge and understanding. Revelation that every time you are confronted with an issue, you understand what operation of the spirit has been designed. You are going to pray oh, inside and outside. When it's time to pray, pray. 
because prayer is also a key in the kingdom he says is any man afflicted it is a let him sing praise and worship let him pray let him pray lift your voice and pray say lord anoint my eyes tonight i'm tired of guesswork in the spirit anoint my eyes tonight bring me into an accurate comprehension of the laws of the spirit the laws of the kingdom pray lord anoint my eyes this trouble that is going on in my family teach me how to solve that problem teach me so that any day I see that problem I know what to do he said the men of Isaka they had an understanding of the times they knew what to do he said Jesus himself knew what to do when you know what to do you will not just receive miracles you will become the miracle worker come on pray lord i need to know what to do concerning my finances i need to know what to do concerning my marriage i need to know what to do to keep the heavens open I need to know what to do to keep growing in the anointing I need to know what to do to accurately understand the world I need to know what to do to remain in hell I need to know what to do the spirit of revelation hallelujah Hallelujah. Listen to me. Let me tell you something that will surprise you. Look at me. Time does not change anything. It is revelation that changes things. Are you hearing what I'm saying? Time does not have the ability to change things. Time only becomes useful if you incorporate it into the current revelation of what you are having. Oh, one day I know God will do something. I know my God. Let me tell you something. If you know what to do, and it is time that is bringing it to manifest, then you can rejoice. But if you are not doing anything, and you are only hoping, you will wait forever. Are you hearing what I'm saying? You will wait forever. 38 years, he was at Bethesda, the pool there. But within minutes, that man became whole. Is that true? You are going to pray and say, Lord, today I set the time. Are you hearing what I'm saying? Today, since time is not a factor in the spirit, that means this night is my own time. Lift your voice and pray. Give us this day, not tomorrow. Give us this day. Give us this day. Give us this day. That change of genotype. Lord, bring it tonight. That HIV virus. Let it die tonight. That joblessness. Let it die tonight. That upliftment in your ministry, let it come tonight. That apostolic fire, that prophetic fire, let it be tonight. That new level of grace and authority in the spirit, let it be tonight. Zinanda dianta, repata ta ta pregadianto, linga ta sta parianta, linga bodianga bona, esta dianto sedidia. Hallelujah. Sheda da 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 baka. Something will happen in your life this night that you will not forget in a long time i'm prophesying to you something will happen in your life this night that you will not forget 
in a long time. Hallelujah. Matthew 4. Please sit down for a while. There are people standing outside. Please let there not be any vacant seat. If there is a vacant seat, call them in. There are people standing. God will bless you. Wherever you are, God will visit you. Please, let, let's not have any vacant seat. Please, ushers, let all the seats be filled. There's no reason why there should be vacant seats. Well, there are people standing outside. he's not always doing the same thing hallelujah let it not be like Jacob that the Lord was in this place I want you to know that tremendous amount of prayer and spiritual preparation goes in for every meeting and much more the miracle service are you hearing me God is not a joker he will not bring you here to play jamboree with you he said he has not called the seed of Jacob to seek him in Matthew chapter 4 very quickly. I welcome everyone. There's so many people coming from different places. Hallelujah. Salute you. I celebrate you. When I was coming in, I saw a number of men of God outside. God bless you. Hallelujah. Matthew 4. synagogues and preaching the gospel of the kingdom and healing all manner of sickness and all manner of disease among the people and his fame went throughout all Syria and they brought unto him all sick people that were taken with diverse diseases listen please diverse diseases and torments and those who were possessed or oppressed with demons and those who had epilepsy and those who had the palsy and he healed them and there followed him great multitudes of people from Galilee and from Decapolis and from Jerusalem and from Judea and beyond the Jordan there are many of us who have come from different parts of this city and different states in this country the Bible says when they all came to Jesus not to a man of God he healed them all I want you to know that the Lord Jesus is in this place are you hearing me the Lord Jesus Christ is in this place and by the grace of God God has given us an anointing he says son of man prophesy to the dry bones when he prophesied, he didn't say, hear ye the word of Ezekiel. He said, hear ye the word of the Lord. Hear ye the word of the one who sent me to prophesy. So tonight you will hear the word of the Lord. And faith comes by hearing. Listen to me, please. Faith comes by hearing and hearing. The hearing comes by the word of God. When you hear the word of God, you get up take action until you have taken action you have not taken any step of faith are you hearing what I'm saying 
faith is just is not just about confession faith is about taking action every time you do not take action is a sign that you are still doubting is that true Bishop Oedeko said if it is truly the word of God if it is faith it will move you into action if that word does not move you into action hallelujah then it means it was not faith so you cannot move your leg and the word of God comes you receive it prove that you have received it by taking action and Peter held on to his hands and lifted him and the man leaping stood his bones and ankles regained strength take away your eyes from whatever problems please if you've not written your prayer request while you're sitting down just write it quickly we have to be very brief this night we'll be out of here praise the Lord so I want you to believe that you are in the presence of the living God God will not bring you to waste your time realize that it is within his ability to heal you do you believe that it is within his ability to change your story it's within his ability to anoint you there are many of us who have stayed at certain levels of grace for a long time it's time to move forward the bible says ye have tarried around this mountain long enough turn ye not once hallelujah whatever it is that you desire the bible says and whatsoever things ye desire when ye pray believe that thou receivest it and thou will have it so tonight you are the one that knows the problem don't wait for your neighbor to receive for you as the word of the lord begins to come don't wait until your case is called the calling of the cases of people is just sign, a sign and a wonder. The Bible says Jesus was in the room teaching and the power of God was present to heal. Just like the glory and the power of God is present this night to heal, to deliver. There are many of you who have been oppressed by all kinds of demonic spirits. You want to move forward. There are strongholds keeping you down. There are strongholds, hear me please, keeping many families down. You do everything you know to do and there's no advancement. Everybody, every lady in the family, no marriage. Pretty lady, no marriage. It's not like you live a promiscuous life. That devil will bow this night. Are you hearing what I'm saying? There are some of you, no job, everybody in your family. You went to school, suffered for years, nothing to show forth for it. Acts 10 38. He said, How God anointed Jesus of Nazareth with the Holy Ghost and with power. The Bible says he went about doing good and healing. It didn't say those who were sick, healing all they that were oppressed. Sickness is an oppression. Are you hearing what I'm saying? That terminal disease is an oppression. Tonight, don't give excuse for anything. It's not your sickness. Are you hearing what I'm saying? It's not your HIV. Yes, you have medical reports. But whose report will you believe tonight? That's the question. Whose report will you believe? Whose report? Make up your mind. Some of you, they have concluded about you. As you are here right now, scattered in this crowd, inside and outside. There are many of you, everybody has concluded about you. They said, just forget this guy or forget this lady. The person is a useless person. But the Bible says there is hope for a tree, even if it be cut down. At the scent of water. Let me tell you something. Many of you, because of certain things you have done, like Samson, your hair has been cut. This is the place tonight that that hair will grow back. He said, rejoice not over me, my enemies, for though I fall, yet will I rise again. Are you listening to me? 
this is the place the Bible says son of man what seest thou he said four horns these horns that have lifted up themselves so that no one will lift up his head in Judah he said but I will send carpenters carpenters hallelujah there are many of you pronouncements and ordinances of wicked men have been decreed over your family that nothing good will come out of your life and nothing good will come out of your family. The Bible says, who shall declare a thing and it shall come to pass when the Lord has not decreed it. Are you hearing what I'm saying? There are many of us victims of all kinds of satanic assaults. Ordinances and covenants of darkness that have been entered and many of us are suffering things we have no idea of. But the Bible says the children shall not suffer the iniquity of their fathers. Tonight, God will visit you. Are you hearing what I'm saying? God will visit you. Now, some of you here, you are tired, struggling like my brother shared with all kinds of habits. You are a man of God, great woman of God. But pornography will not live your life. You have, you have fasted, you have prayed. As you are fasting, the devil is still mocking you. Hallelujah. You are still fasting. You are breaking the fast with sleeping with somebody. You are, it's not like you are bad. That devil is a liar this night. Because the hand of the Lord will be strong upon you. Are you hearing what I'm saying? There are some of you, everything you lay your hands to do doesn't work. It will keep working for others till it gets to your turn. Make sure as you are receiving tonight, hear me every one of us is representing at least a family are you listening to me he said as for me and my house they didn't call all of them one by one somebody stood in the gap as for me that terminal disease eating your father or your mother he can bow this night because the bible says wherefore god has so highly exalted him he said, and giving him a name that is above every other name. That at the mention of that name, what will happen? How many knees? How many knees? Help me. How many knees? HIV, cancer. Every knee must bow. The knee that will not bow this night has not been created. Are you hearing me? The Bible says, blotting out every handwriting. Question, where was the handwriting written? There are handwritings, ordinances of darkness. Nothing happens to you until you get to a certain age. Suddenly, some things begin to happen. Some of you, as you are sitting, looking at me and hearing me outside, you are being molested by all kinds of things. You are sleeping in the night. All kinds of devilish things oppressing you. You are afraid. Nobody knows. See, this night, let me tell you, just humble yourself and open up your spirit. Are you hearing me? keep your whatever it is and say lord do something in my life this night hallelujah demonic things the devil and his assaults joining the heads of people playing with people's destinies there are many of you you and your, you know this, you and your, you are perpetually living under a close heaven. But this is why the Lord brought you tonight. The name Miracle Service, we would have called it Worship Service. Miracle Service was given by God. Are you hearing me? It was just, it was not just a name that was formulated. It's a miracle service. And your faith your faith is that connecting pipe to the power of God. Kenny said something, was it Kenny or, or, or Pastor Jake's now that said something? Very powerful. He said, make sure that this night you are not watching other people. Some of you like watching other people. Some of you even came because of what you had. Some of you are critics. You just came to verify a lot of things. Some of you came with a sincere desire. Some of you came sluggishly because you like a lady and she said, I'm going for koinonia. I said, oh, love does everything. Let me tell you something. Redefine your priority this night. Are you hearing what I'm saying? 
some of you are coming as usual some of you are coming because you are workers he said he that cometh unto him must believe first that he exists and then that is the rewarder of them that diligently seek him i came here with an open heart i began to tell the lord from i said lord i'm the first person the bible says the husband man shall be the first partaker and so i told the lord before you begin to touch the people i'm not being selfish hallelujah don't stand watching people and say why are they praying like this why are they jumping like this and celebrating god you can get up we will share the grace and you will go back you will be watching this is this is the reason why a lot of people think miracles are fake because they have never gotten one every time people are open say how can a beautiful sister like this be rolling on the ground praying and say god visit me you are carrying your dignified self and god will pass you and touch somebody and then at the end of it you see people celebrating miracles and breakthroughs testimony is coming and you say it's not true why is it that there are only specific people this thing is stage managed if you open up your heart that's what god told cain cain was complaining why abel was receiving breakthroughs and he was not receiving god said if you do what cain did will your sacrifice not be accepted participate in the meeting this night follow instructions diligently when they say lift up your hands and say amen don't say please this lifting up of hands this is the problem say my story must change this night say it from your heart my story must change this night say lord i know you are alive i know you are powerful i know you are able to visit my life visit the works of my hands visit my health visit my family and this night i place a demand by faith that i will truly receive can i tell you something if your heart is not open to receive it's better to go home you can do something meaningful with your time you can go and read the bible or do something else but i advise you this night don't be among the spectators if you don't have an expectation carefully think about it there's no crime not having one but get one so that you are not in confusion the bible said give us this day our it didn't say give us this day what we need that's too ambiguous give us when specific time specific need our what that's what he wanted daily bread so lord give me this day this change of genotype give me this day a change of result give me this day a story lift my head oh god let somebody know that a giant can arise from your family there are some of you like gideon you are your family is the least and you are the least in your family and you are busy hiding this night the lord is speaking to you what are you doing on the ground oh mighty man of valor do you not know who you are in christ redemption offers us an opportunity to rise and reign like kings are you hearing me he said awake thou that sleepest and christ will give you light awake as that reign of glory comes some of you what you need tonight is an upgrade of grace the grace you have is there but you have gotten to the limit of it there are certain dimensions hear me let me tell you something see grace is in levels the bible says he measured a thousand cubits is that true measured another thousand cubits those will open to you according to the degree of grace let me tell you the truth it's not everything that is possible for everybody are you hearing me i told you we are all equal in christ but we are not equal in grace the prophet servant took the rod the same rod went and laid it on the dead body nothing happened is that true but the prophet came and did it see that it is not possible for you does not mean it's not possible in christ but tonight jesus himself the bible says and if i be lifted up tonight we have exalted him with all the worship christ is lifted up you cannot
cannot come to his presence and those chains and shackles and they bound Samson some of us have been bound by limitations by mindset the Bible says but the hand of the Lord came upon Samson and that rope became like wax like wax many of you will shake out of some things this night some of you have been thrown into the den of the lion and people have forgotten about you but can I tell you something your enemies will call your name and you will answer you will say I'm alive I got into that dungeon but before then that Shekinah of God that preserves men you will come out strong come out wise come out powerful come out full of grace and tell them I have a testimony I know what it means to go to the valley of the shadow of death but God who can take a man from a dung hill the Bible says and the king sent for Joseph and they brought him out of his dungeon tonight many of you will activate breakthroughs God will connect you let me tell you something listen to me the Holy Ghost gave me a revelation some time ago he said God is called the father of spirits have you ever known the meaning of that name that means every spirit is subject to him when the disciples came in Luke in the book of Luke they said they came rejoicing saying master even the demons were subject to us through thy name and Jesus said do not just rejoice because the spirits so he's called the father are you listening to me the chief the captain above every spirit including the spirit of your destiny help us and so if the father of spirits moves he can move any spirit hear me the bible says Nebuchadnezzar did not sleep that night he got up by himself he said oh Daniel has your God been able to save you may my God reveal himself as the father of spirits over certain families the father of spirits every spirit listen herbalists understand this principle they can enter their coven there's what they call summoning the spirits of people is that true while they are sleeping they summon your spirit and the spirit of the person comes to the coven they are trying to mimic god god is the lion satan roars like the lion tonight god will summon the spirits of men let me tell you the truth and compel them to bless you hallelujah he said look up to abraham your father and unto sarah that bear thee for i called him out alone i blessed him and i increased him i called him alone this night is not you and your neighbor i know you are going out together just leave that thing for a while now are you hearing me it's not the issue of me and my neighbor or me and my family members oh no, this guy is our neighbor in new extension forget about that thing i know mother came with father but forget about that thing and say lord i will not let you go i will not let you go i will not let you go until something in my spirit breaks open i will not let you go i will not let you go i'm provoking you to get angry tonight because what you are about to lift listen when you watch weightlifters as they lift weights before they lift it you see them shouting they are getting themselves angry well because when they are angry an ability they cannot explain comes this is what i'm doing to you when i fire your faith every unbelief that came with your situation i know you trekked from town to come here but can i tell you something god is able to change the story of a man tonight let's see that demonic report that says you will not bear a child let's see that demonic report that says you have fibroid and that you will be pregnant let me tell you the truth my bible tells me god opened the womb of leah 
God opened the womb of Rachel. It is God that opens a door that no devil can shut. And he can shut a door that no devil can open. Revelation 3 verse 8. He said, Behold, I know that you have little strength, yet you have kept my word. He said, Behold, I set before you, I set before you, Hallelujah. We had a very touching testimony over the week of the favor of God. Hallelujah. Someone called us and a very professional web designer from Gombe State is the one that he designs for state governments, their websites. And he just called us. He said, Koinonia messages have been blessing him, opening him to dimensions in the spirit. He said he has been stepping into new levels in his career. And he said, please, I want to transport myself, foot my bill, lodge myself, and come and build a free website for the ministry. And I want to train the media team on how to maintain it, everything free of charge. How can you explain this? See, listen. Listen, I don't say this thing. You see, let me tell you something. We tell testimonies because the testimony of Jesus, that means a testimony that was initiated by the spirit of the Christ, is a spirit of prophecy, meaning it has in itself the ability to compel you to desire it and see it happen in your life. Hallelujah. The testimony of Jesus, the spirit of prophecy. Don't sit down there and say, can it happen? You are seeing what God, you cannot belong to a ministry that is carrying certain levels of grace and it's not working in your life. Get angry this night. Get angry. He said, I and all the children that the Lord has given me, get angry. When they saw the apostle, they said he had been with Jesus. Let me tell you this night don't you ever hear me don't you just leave him leave him don't you ever are you hearing me try to make satan make you think there is no hope that language of there is no hope is of the devil some of you are outside hear my voice because there are many voices speaking there are some voices telling you you will never marry ladies hear me some are saying because you live the past life look at how it is in your house what is your business with what has happened to Mr. ABC. The Bible says, a thousand shall fall by your side. Is that true? They fell near you. He said, another ten thousand by your right side. He said, none shall harm you. Some of you hear me. This night, I'm serious about this marriage thing. We are going to break this devilish yoke. Some of you have been laughing about it. If you don't take it serious this night, you will be surprised. You are just saying, I'm fine, I'm fine. Don't get up and deal with it this night. The Bible says, the whole world lieth in wickedness. Don't let cartoons fool you. This world is not a playground. Are you hearing me? So when it's time to receive, make sure you receive. And the Lord is going to be restoring in this place. You lived a past life. You lost your womb. Who told you God has stopped creating? Read the book of Revelation. He said, for thou was slain. And you have received all things. He said, you have created. He said, they, they are and were created. They were created and are still being created. God did not stop creation. He only rested on the seventh day. When he rested on the seventh day, there was no need for recreation. When man spoiled things, he sent Jesus back. Let me tell you something. Remember not the former things. Are you hearing me? Tonight, don't let the devil say, even you, even you, that everybody knows you in your area to be a prostitute. So what? See, this is why when they came to the land of Jericho, because of the prophetic destiny, are you hearing me, of Rahab, he said, kill everything plus the animals so that there will be no trace to our history because she was going to be the great grandmother of Jesus. 
he said destroy everything of the past tonight let me tell you something everything whether your mistakes whether your carelessness of the past the bible says remember not the former things how many of us are ready to receive tonight let me give you a few seconds right now i'd like you to think on the things you want god to do for you please don't be mechanical about this we are not doing jamboree this night think very well know what you want god to do if his husband say husband don't say a man if his wife say wife if his breakthrough say lord my heavens are short if his finances say finances if it's your ministry that is dying no growth say oh god measure a thousand cubits this night any area of your life terminal disease infections lump in your breast cancer whatever it is just believe god don't say we have been coming i came the last time i didn't receive master we have told all night they said he said nevertheless this night at thy world rise up on your feet everybody go ahead and pray in tongues just for one minute exercise your spirit man outside i'm telling you i see a cloud outside a mighty cloud a mighty cloud the lord is showing me a silvery cloud outside god will do mighty things outside pray in one minute cry out your expectation to god go ahead forget about your neighbor talk to the lord say lord you know that you are my last hope this night you are my last hope in this place if you do not help me there is no help again if you do not save my family if you don't change our story then let it be that there is no god but i have no option again pray that demon spirit assaulting your destiny pray enough is enough that yoke of bad luck pray christ has redeemed you by faith tonight you will enter into the experience christ has paid the price you don't need to pay it again but it takes faith to enforce that which christ has done the price has been paid it will not be paid this night that ultimate price yes lord just a song listen to what you are saying listen to what you are saying
Alléluia. Alléluia. I hail you, most high. Lift your hands, everybody, inside and outside. I truly hail you, most high. I hail you, most high. I truly hail hail you. Hallelujah. Hear me. The power of God is present in this place mighty. And God is going to be fishing out people and families. Hear me. Some of you will stand in for your family. Every yoke of darkness. Every curse. Every, the power of God is already moving. Every curse outside i want you to get ready because there will be a release of fire hallelujah at the count of three hear me inside and outside at the count of three with all your heart you're going to shout jesus hear me the fire of the holy ghost is going to be moving in this place in a dramatic way especially outside there will be mighty deliverances for you for your family members every oppression it will bow tonight because upon mount zion there shall be deliverance lift up your hands thank you father take over this meeting right now holy spirit take over this meeting take over this meeting do mighty things i give you all the glory at the count of three hear me i confront gates i confront powers in the name that is above all names out of the abundance of grace that is sufficient in this house at the count of three every devil i speak from the realm of the spirit and i confront altars by the fire of the Holy Ghost, you will bow at the count of three. One, two, three. Shout Jesus. That devil of darkness, come out. Let God's people go free outside the fire of the Holy Ghost. Make them poco take it. Make them proto seke. Bring them out. Make proto shot take it. Bring them out. Make proto so pekete. Every act of witchcraft. Every act of divination. Every act of sorcery. Make proto shot take it. Let the fire fall. I expose every power of darkness right now right now right now outside outside there are angels of deliverance in a mighty way bring them out Outside, outside, there is a baptism of fire. No devil, no devil of darkness will stand tonight. Satan, the Lord will build you. Satan, the Lord will build you. Satan, the Lord will build you. Oh, there is fire in this place. No devil can stand. No devil against your destiny. 
no enchantment, no divination against Jacob shall stand. Surely they shall gather, but because their gathering is not of the Lord, this night they will scatter. Hallelujah. Lift up your hands again. Outside. Hallelujah. Hear me. Those of you outside, at the count of three, I want you to shout Jesus. God is not done with you. Please, pick them and bring them. Many of it will be a mass deliverance. Are you hearing me? Just those outside. Right now at the count of three. One, two, three. Is the name above all names. Yokes are breaking. Spells are breaking. Yokes are breaking. Yokes are breaking. It's the fire of the Holy Ghost. It's the fire of the Holy Ghost. It's the fire of the Holy Ghost. Outside, outside, angels are still moving. Outside, shake it, shake it, shake it. It's the fire of the Holy Ghost. Right at the back, right to the back. Lord, let no devil, let no devil stand your presence. How God anointed Jesus of Nazareth with the Holy Ghost and with power. It's the baptism of fire. No devil will stand when in the presence of the Lord. Hallelujah. Yeah, me. Yeah, me. Some of you are receiving liberty. You don't have to fall and come out. Are you hearing me? But they are just living. Living. See, some of you be checking. We have not prayed for the sick yet. But be checking yourself. You will find out that miracles are already happening. Because some of these sicknesses are orchestrated by devils. Now, Hear me, the Lord Jesus Christ is in this place. At the count of three, I speak to all these demons that have oppressed these people as a point of contact. I speak as an ambassador. At the count of three, 
you will leave them complete deliverance no hiding let the word of god search even to the dividing of the soul and the spirit there be no hiding place at the count of three under this apostolic fire at the count of three you will go right now one two three go 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 come out come out come out and return no more come out come out come out and return no more come out come out there's no hiding place come out there's fire upon every devil fire shake is the fire of the holy ghost there's no hiding place listen as this is happening to you i want you to know that this is happening in your family too are you hearing me This is the spirit of death in this brother's family. The spirit of death. Right now, thou foul devil, I see you in the spirit. Go, go, come out now. Come out now. Out. for this lady see I'm seeing horns horns this is what I'm seeing that devil is a liar right now I make contact with your body by the fire of the Holy Ghost out of her right now you're a wicked foul devil of darkness just lay your hands on her head in the name of Jesus now come out oh devil of darkness there's no hiding for you in the mighty name of Jesus this curse of darkness is gone from this lady hallelujah ulcer if you have ulcer lift your hands anybody ulcer please you're going to be healed now check yourself hallelujah now we'll take some instant testimonies hallelujah we'll take some instant testimonies because of time we usually don't do that but we we'll just to encourage a few people lift your hands inside and outside you're suffering from peptic ulcer it will go now peptic ulcer lift your hands as i rebuke that spirit some of you have wounds those wounds will close up now now not later on just leave them god is not done with them until he's done brother look at me you're a great man but let me tell you you didn't come out for yourself you came out for your family where are you from uh, not where you're coming from Edo state. Edo state this is what i'm seeing the lord is showing me a shrine with seven stones and there's cola not in the middle are you listening to me so god is setting you free you believe that let me pray for you for your family out now those altars of darkness gone forever please don't be quick to carry them hallelujah lift your hands altars in the name of the lord jesus christ that name that is above every other name ulcers be healed now ulcers be healed now ulcers inside and outside be healed now start checking yourself check yourself miracles are happening god is healing ulcer ulcer check check the moment you see a notable miracle um maybe we'll have a few i don't know maybe at the back one or two people the ministers who verify them will take one or two testimonies 
the Lord is showing me who is Hanatu. Hanatu, Hanatu. I'm hearing the name Hanatu. Come now, don't wait there, please. There's no time. Hanatu. Hanatu. God is visiting the family of Hanatu. You are Hanatu. Your name is Hanatu. You. Look at me. God is visiting your family. Are you hearing me? A devil of darkness. Spell and yokes of bondage. Let our family go now. In the name of Jesus Christ. God is not just delivering the family. God is anointing this young man. God will do mighty things. Take the anointing. You will become a mighty man of God. Mighty man of God. Hallelujah. Sister, this lady, come please. Quickly. Open the floodgates of heaven. Let it rain. Let it rain. I'm hearing the name Grace. Look at me. Who is Grace? I'm hearing the name Grace. Your friend. Your church member. We need to pray for Grace because death wants to take her life. Are you hearing me? Grace. That's I'm just flowing as the Holy Spirit is helping me. But then the Lord is going to visit you in three things. See, listen to me. Number one. I, the Lord always shows me these things because I'm seeing marital issue. Are you married? No, sir. Are you married? Do you know me? Have I met with you? The Lord wants to solve that issue right now because you're looking pretty on the outside. Are you hearing me? But I'm seeing shadow. That's the only thing I'm seeing as your face in the spirit. There is no form, just shadow. But the Lord is going to set you free. Number two, who is doing a building project? Me. A building. Did you tell me this is the second thing God is going to do? Supernatural grace to complete the building project. Are you listening to me? Number three, God is blessing you in the area of business. I'm hearing business. Who does business? Yes, I do business. Are you sure? Don't just say yes. So are you very sure? Selling of shoes and bags. Okay, you are going to see an escalation in your business. Three, these three things. Hold my hands, Father. That yoke of bondage. I break her free from it right now. Ah, what is this thing that I'm seeing again? Do you know what I'm seeing? I'm not seeing a woman, I'm seeing a man. See, don't feel embarrassed. Who comes to oppress you in the night? You have those kind of experiences. This is the man I'm seeing. That devil is a liar. Are you hearing me? Let her go. She must be free by the power of the Holy Ghost. This is what is stopping this marriage. I set you free. You will experience the hand of God, the grace of God, in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Beatrice, your son name is Beatrice. Your son name is Beatrice. Beatrice, your son name is Beatrice. Please, let's hurry up. Your son name is Beatrice. When you have that person, please let him come out. Hallelujah. Now, if you have problem with your ears, please, we have to be fast. Ears, whether one side, or if you came with anybody inside and outside, you came with anybody that is partially or completely deaf, please put your hands there right now. Put your hands right there. Some of you feel like water in your ears. Just put your hands. Please, as you're receiving miracles, some of you, I'm not mentioning your case. Just walk out, Bishop Stan and Pastor Jakes are outside. Take the courage to walk out now. Go and drop your testimony. Hallelujah. We are going to take one or two of them. The ministers are at the back. Hallelujah. They are standing. Even if the miracle has started, they will perfect it. Look at me. Come. See. Brother, come. Where were you sitting? Outside. At the back. Hold on. What happened to you?
what God is calling you. You're going to be a great teacher of the word. Are you hearing me? He will teach the word very prophetically. Look at my eyes. Just look at my eyes. Spirit of revelation. My God, I pray. The eye is the light of the body. Let something happen to this brother. Let there be a straight line from Genesis to Revelation. I impart upon you. Just look at my eyes. You're receiving a mighty impartation. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Please go outside. God is visiting people. I'm seeing some, someone heal. Lump in the breast. Lump in the breast is getting healed right now. Right now. The moment it is your case, celebrate God. Check it and go out. Celebrate it. There's nothing to be ashamed of. This is, this is a outside. A lady is healed. Lump in the breast. Your right breast. Outside. There's healing going on right now. A lump in the breast. Outside. A lady is being healed. Lump in the breast is going. Hallelujah. Now, blood disease blood disease i want to pray for blood disease whether hepatitis hepatitis is killing people like chickens right now whether it is hepatitis hiv aside from genotypes we'll pray for genotypes differently hallelujah but any other blood disease please lift your hands quickly quickly please lift your hands I want to rebuke that devil Thank you jesus thank you jesus if you're lifting your hands lift it because the power of god will come upon you right now in the name of jesus i pray blood disease be healed be healed right now inside and outside be healed hiv virus die now in the name of jesus sickle cell anemia sickle cell anemia sickle cell anemia Die right now. Please, can we get another mic? Hallelujah. Okay, let's just take one. Hallelujah. So, sir, um, this lady had been suffering from asthma for a long time and also, sorry, for a long time and she said she couldn't shout and in fact, right now she's lost her voice. Hallelujah. Because God healed her wife standing outside the moment man of God said, that people with ulcer, God is touching them right now. God touched and she was healed. She began to shout and she's lost her voice. Hallelujah. Can you shout for us? Praise the Lord! Because it's permanent in the name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Please, as more miracles are happening, don't just come out here to testify, please. Now, I want to pray for a woman. You came, you have pains. This is an elderly woman. Something, I don't know if it's a growth or something. Please, who is that? Please and please, let's save time. God is healing people right now. And then I'm seeing, watch this. This part, you're feeling, sometimes you walk and it's almost like you want to fall. Your bone here, come out. You're a lady. You're a lady. God is showing me. The lady is holding a baby. This is what I'm seeing. You are holding a baby. Whether it's your child, who is that, please? Holding a baby, oh. You are holding a baby. Where is the baby? Was she holding a baby? Because, come. Open the floodgates of heaven. Where is, where is the pain? This is the baby. This is the baby. Come, madam. You will be healed right now. Look at me. You, you can see her limping. Who can see her limping? Can you see her limping? Can you see her limping? Madam, hold my hands. You believe in the power of the Holy Spirit. Lay your hands on her. Which of them? Which of them? Where's the pain? What happened? Just like that. That devil will leave you right now. Because there is a name. Lord Jesus, thank you. Amen. Come. March your legs. Go ahead. Go ahead. March. Look at, look at this. Look at this. Look at this. Is there any pain? Are you feeling any pain? Just a little. Go ahead. Just march. In the name of Jesus Christ. Now check it. Walk. Walk and come. Walk and come. Jump. Look at. 
Look at this. Give Jesus a shout of praise. Open the heavens. Let it rain. Let it rain. Would you open the flood gates of heaven? Let it rain. Let it rain. Would you open the flood gates? One more time, everybody. Lord is ministering to me. Just leave her. Five months, you are a lady here. You have not seen your period for five months. Five months, you have not seen your period. You've shared it with a few friends. Right now, this night, this night, I know there are lady ushers that will help you. Hallelujah. All kinds of menstrual issues, it will disappear. It will disappear right now. Open the floor gates of heaven. As soon as I pray for you, take her to the restroom. You will check yourself right now. Right now. That yoke of bondage. Be free now. By the power of the Holy Ghost. There's the fire of the Holy Ghost. Please take her. Please take her so she doesn't feel embarrassed. She's not the only one. There will be miracles. There are more miracles coming. Celebrate Jesus Christ. Please can we have another mic? So that Pastor Jakes, is there another mic? Okay, it's here. Please just go to the back. Go to the back. Yes. Hallelujah. His brother's name is Dennis. 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 And while standing here, when the man of God said, she lift up her hands, and those that had ulcers, she lift up your hands. God is healing ulcer. They actually had ulcer and it translated into asthma. Hallelujah. And while lifting up his hands, what happened? Praise the Lord. This is my first time to come here. And it linked to asthmatic. Hallelujah. As the man of God says, like if you have as uh, if you have ulcer, and I believe he's going to he's going to be healed. And as I lift up my hand, I'm having chest chest pain. Hallelujah! But now I'm not feeling anything. It's just as cool as breathe, as breathe in and out, breathe in and out. Go Hallelujah. ahead, breathe in and out, breathe in and out, in and out. Any problem? No problem. Celebrate Jesus. My grain headache has just been healed. My grain headache has been healed now. My grain headache, please check yourself. My grain headache, my grain headache has been healed. Make sure you just rush down to the back. My grain headache, thank you, Jesus Christ. My grain headache has been healed. Now, please listen. There's someone you wake up in the morning, your heart area here. Your heart area pains you. It's as if your heart is tearing. When you wake up early in the morning, this thing has been happening for a long time. Who is that person? Your heart. Just, just this way. You cannot even sleep on that side. Because when you rest on that side, you have serious problems. This is not the only one. I'm seeing a lady. You're a young lady. You're a young lady. Open the floor again. Mama, does she understand English? Who brought her? Mama? Okay. What? Selena is a official house interpreter. Ask her what's wrong with her. Make it down, Mama. Her hand and her legs. Her hand. Everything. This is C. The devil once is supposed to be from my head down. This is stroke. Are you seeing? This is stroke that the devil wants to bring. Tell her right now. She will, she's going to be healed and she will dance. Miracles. Look at the lady who just came. Hallelujah. You need to celebrate Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. While standing here worshiping God, she said she's had menstrual pain for a long, long time. Hallelujah. The pain had been there and while Apostle ministered to her, something remarkable happened. You want to hear? Hallelujah. Please, we need a lady to touch her stomach. She said because she were pains, so we need somebody to verify. Now the pains are... Yes. 
The pains are gone. Yes. Any pain? Hallelujah. Please celebrate Jesus. Celebrate Jesus. Check yourself. Don't just stand waiting. Check yourself. God is doing miracles. Even if you are outside, just Bishop and Pastor Jax are at the back. Mama, God is going to heal her right now. Ask her, does she believe? Tell her to hold my hands. The Lord Jesus sets you free. That devil, gone, pain gone, come up. Tell her to come up and march. He's gone. He's gone. Look at this. He's gone. He's gone. In the name of Jesus Christ. Open the floodgates of heaven. Let it rain. Let it rain. Lord gates of heaven, let it rain, let it rain. Hold on, how does she feel? Is this still, is the pain still there? She's not feeling any pain. Mama, let's match. Can you dance? Play any song for her. Look at, look at somebody who could not stand well. What kind of song do they sing? People should learn Alsa songs for our mothers. You could don't know one Alsa song. Annie, give us one Alsa song. Come on, dance, celebrate Jesus. outside a hole in the teeth has been closed outside a hole in the teeth check yourself a hole in the teeth a hole in the teeth it has been paining you check you find out it has is gone right now right now the lord is showing me a hole in the teeth is closed the hole is closed completely please make sure you verify before coming okay Okay, repaint. One eye, the left eye of somebody outside. God is really visiting people outside. The left eye, you don't see well with it. There's, you see like an image intercepting your eye. is gone right now. Please check it. What was she? Okay, lay your hands there. Thank you, Jesus, for your healing power. Gone. Check yourself. See, the anointing does not just come check yourself please don't don't feel embarrassed to say you have to say yes no if it doesn't happen say it we'll pray for you here check yourself 
check yourself very well. Do what you really do. Can you? Any pain? I'm still waiting for the lady. Someone. The, I think. The, did I say left or right now? Breast lump. Breast lump is gone. Is gone. Check it. Don't don't wait. Check check and go outside. Pastor Jakes is there. They are busy verifying people's cases, inside or outside. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Now, um, this is very interesting. There's a family here that has been suffering delay. And God is going to solve the problem in a very dramatic way. Wait, 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 listen. The power of God is going to carry the person from where he is. The person will run out here with such speed. This is a sign that this is what God is doing. Hallelujah. This is what the sign that God gave me. This is very interesting. The way the Holy Spirit walks, sign and wonders here. From outside, from outside, the power of God will pick the person. He will run with the spirit of Elijah. It's from outside. Lord, let it happen according to your word. I give you praise and I give you glory. You will come out under a tremendous influence of the spirit. It's a sign that this is what God is doing. Please, let's continue before the person comes out. You will come out, certainly. This is the word of the Lord. Now, I'm seeing a baby that is sick. You came with a baby that is sick. Please, who is the person? The baby cries in the night. Please, hurry up quickly. Because Pastor Jakes will still come up here. Bishop Sam. Ah whatever mountain will not has not answered to it will answer to you this night who is this this is the baby that is sick what's wrong with her open the floodgates of heaven One more person again, this same experience for one more person outside. One more person outside is going to happen again. One more person by the power and the influence of the spirit. This is a sign and a wonder. God is restoring delay in families. The power of God will just pick you from the crowd and bring you here with tremendous speed. Let's listen. They transfuse her and after what did they say is wrong with her? what yes. HIV positive that devil is a liar come my dear look at me what's her name how can a girl bear the name favor and still have HIV you see how demonic Satan is the Bible says a man was sitting at a beautiful gate with an ugly situation a lady this is like Jabez but tonight like the prayer of Jabez he said oh that Bless, bless me. Hallelujah. You will go and test her. You will come back with a testimony. We will change it. HIV is a spirit. And it will bow. Sweetheart, hold my hands. Hold my hands. Both of your hands. Yeah. Just leave her. She's free. The lady with the lump. Listen, how okay? How long has it been? Is help us. How long? Yes. 
Hallelujah. Lift your hands. Look at me. Lift your hands. Lord, let your power come upon her. You will perfect this right now. That which you have started, let it be perfected in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Amazing. Amazing. I'm telling you, God is doing amazing things. So if your miracle has started, Bishop is praying, Jake's are praying. We are very serious. Don't go back. Don't go back. A wrist has just been healed. You feel a pain. In fact, there used to be like a growth. Check it. It has disappeared. Check it right now. It has disappeared. Check it. It has disappeared. Check it. God is doing mighty miracles. Check it. It has disappeared. Hallelujah. Now, I'm seeing a woman. There are objects that move in your body. Serious objects. It moves sometimes to your legs. Sometimes to your chest. Hallelujah. Right now as I pray, you are going to be free and you'll find out that you are free. You are feeling light. Please, when that happens to you, go down. The ministers are seriously praying there. Father, in the name of Jesus, this demonic thing, this demonic thing, this demonic yoke of darkness, let it leave your body right now. Right now. Right now. Right now. Come, my sister. What's your name? Grace. Grace. When I was speaking to a lady here and I said, Grace, I was, my eyes was being fixed. Are you married? We are going to visit marriage issues now. Just get ready. We are going to deal ruthlessly with that devil. Are you hearing me? Marriage is a good thing. Say it. Again. Say it one more time. Every good and perfect gift. Where does it come from? Where does it come from? That means every bad and imperfect gift comes from where? I tell you the truth. God is going to visit marriages right now. Look at me. Men don't come to you. Anybody that comes, they just mock you. They run away. They do all of these things. Some even insult you. Can I tell you something? You are wonderfully and fearfully made. I hope you know that God does mighty marriage miracles in this place. So when we are talking about marriage, look at another miracles are happening. Like I tell you, there is an open heaven. And this is what happens once there is praise. Please make sure the, the mic is set. Let's take this testimony. Yes, sir. Come, sister. Hallelujah. Apostle, when you gave a word for the woman, you said somebody's something was moving in movement her. in her body yes, exactly she's this person. is the person movement she had an accident some days ago and since then she's been having funny movement movement in, in your body even standing here in the meeting she was still having that any movement, movement right now in your body lay your hands on your on your stomach no not on your stomach not your legs thank you jesus christ Amen, Give Jesus a big sister. I'm going to pray. look at me. What are you doing? You are a teacher. Yes, sir. Eh? Government secondary school. I'm going to pray for you. Why don't they like you? What is all this thing I'm saying? Do you know me? Did we discuss this? Because I'm seeing real hatred. They hate this woman. Eh? I'm seeing chalk. Chuck, you are a teacher. What are you teaching? Okay, you promise me they teach everything. Oh, okay. Let me pray for you. Look at me. That devil is a liar and you should settle down. Do you believe me? Let her go. That wicked, foul devil of darkness. Let her go now. Let her go. Come out of her right now. Let her go. Thou devil of darkness. Release her right now. With a mighty shout. Go. Go. Now, please, if 
there is a woman here, you've suffered barrenness or a man, anything that you have not given birth, come out here quickly. Please, quickly, quickly. Bishop is still coming and Jakes, we have to hurry up. There's a few things that will happen here. Please, come out quickly. You, you must be married though, except if you are standing for somebody. Don't be emotional about it, please, please. Be looking at your neighbor. If you are from the same place, go back. Somebody has come to represent another person. We will have miracle children in this place. Look at, look how many people the devil is stopping them from enjoying. I mean, some of them are standing in for their loved ones. Look at, look at this, look at this. It looks like they are coming out to give offering. But this is, this is lack of, lack of children you see the relevance of meetings like this listen to me who is standing for herself or for himself for yourself for yourself come here please quickly those who are standing for others this way for yourself look at me are you together She's your wife. Oh, both of you are standing for yourself. Where's your husband? He traveled. I'm seeing a baby girl. Go and write it. <laughs> Hallelujah. Can I pray for you? Hold my hands. See, let me tell you. Sister, look at me. You will come back here with your baby girl and testify. You believe that? Lord, confirm your word with power right now. Thank you, Jesus. You are set free. his marriage why didn't you wait the guy just said okay no 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 don't see don't laugh it doesn't mean you should do it anyway but don't laugh he's coming out look at me you believe that there is supernatural grace for marriage here yeah? when when are you when is the wedding eh? hold my hands according to the time of life i speak to you under the unction of the spirit before the end of this month you will be in a very godly serious relationship with a serious lady that is virtuous and love God father of spirits connect them you are the father of spirits in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ God bless you. wow mighty miracles again are happening you too you for yourself lay your hands on your stomach I'm saying something else. What did the doctor say? Whatever that means. Well, we shall know this is not from God, whatever it is. PID, PID, we pray, whatever it is. And see, look at me. Wherefore God had so highly exalted him and given him a name. At least the men don't understand, some of them, but the ladies, you understand what she said, Abby? Do you understand or not? are going to pray. Look at me. It will go and you will give birth to a lot of children. What will stop you is discipline, not lack of food. Are you hearing what I'm saying? I wish your husband were here oh, because he's not only you I'm supposed to pray for. Where is he? Just pray for him. Thank you, Jesus. Just lay your hands there. Father, perfect her. The power of God is coming upon you. And that devilish thing is leaving you right now. Return with testimonies. Return with testimonies. In the name of Jesus Christ. Please let's hear Pastor Jakes. Hallelujah. Praise God. Apostle, when you give the word for somebody outside that God was feeling the person's teeth. Feeling the person's teeth. How many of you remember? Two of her teeth. Two of her teeth. Had been removed. Can you open your mouth? Don't feel embarrassed. Two of her teeth has been removed. Look at sorry i this is bad viewers discretion i'm sorry don't feel bad we are disciplined people but just so that we we'll celebrate god check no hole look at this no hole i can't see any hole here there was your teeth was removed two teeth two teeth was removed who knows her who knows her is it true that the teeth was removed who is that yes yes he 
is, is true. You are sure of that. Her name is Dorcas. Look at and the teeth has been filled supernaturally. Give Jesus a big, Hallelujah. big hand, big hand, big hand of prayer. Hallelujah. Now, all of you that are standing for any see, if you are standing for anybody, when you go back, send the person a text and say, I just stood in for you now. Believe and receive. Are you hearing me? Send them a text. Don't let them roam around. You are here suffering to stand in for them. They are not connecting again. Hallelujah. And because you are standing here, it's impossible for you to face anything called barrenness. I hope you know that. The Bible says, and when Job prayed for his friends, God turned his own captivity. Job 42 verse 10 and 11. Let me pray for you. Lift your hands. Look at as many people. Lift your hands. Some of you, the power of God will come upon you on behalf of the people there my god children the bible says are a heritage from the lord and father you have made this place an apostolic ground in this city where there are tangible proofs evidences that jesus is alive right now i pray according to the measure of grace every yoke of bondage hear me every curse every fibroid low spam count every devil of darkness that is responsible for impotency or barrenness be lifted now in the name of Jesus be lifted now in the name of Jesus the power of God is coming upon some of you on behalf of your family members I release miracle children. I release miracle children. Take it. Take it. Take it. Take it. On behalf of those you are standing for, they will come back rejoicing, testifying. Every spirit of darkness responsible for unfruitfulness. If they don't have womb, we create new wombs now in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Return back rejoicing. Send them a text that they have been prayed for. And let me tell you, see, listen, hold on, hold on. There are some who take in but lose the child. Is that true? Lift your hands on behalf of them because some is not that they don't take in. They take in one month, two months, they just wake up. In the morning and they just see blood that devil is a liar are you hearing me tonight is miracle service my god i pray the bible says the hand of zerubbabel that started this work that same hand will perfect it i pray no more miscarriage in the name of jesus everyone standing here return with dramatic testimonies in the mighty name of jesus please go back rejoicing god bless you Pastor Jakes, Bishop Stan, please come. Please come. They'll just be ministering to you in a few minutes. Hallelujah. I know that there are areas that they'll minister to you. While that is happening, pass the prayer request, please. This is a time for God to visit your case. Please, as you are passing it, be praying in tongues. As you are passing it, be praying in tongues. Say, Lord, this is it. My time has come. If they didn't call you, your prayer point will call your case now. Hallelujah. God bless you, sir. Pastor Jake, so just minister by the grace of God and then Bishop Stan, sir. Please write your prayer request quickly.
go ahead lift up your hands as I pray for you whatever you're trusting the Lord for and Lord communicates to me for some of you especially God will touch you hmm. God's going to be touching some of you specially what you desire from him specifically so some of you God is going to be activating some anointing upon your life an unusual kind of anointing hallelujah thank you Jesus 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 I'm sensing it being poured on somebody's head there are people the Lord will be pouring it upon your head Parido fine dangro sticky van tahi lingro supra tika tare boste randa kai one of you the anointing will be so heavy on your leg heavy heavy they will literally have to carry you out of this place <laughs> they will literally have to carry you out of this place blessing blessing god is blessing some people thank you holy ghost blessings god is blessing you Please, those of you that are serving presently, like leaders in fellowship, just lift up your hands. Specifically, those ones. The Lord wants to reward you. God will touch you. He will reward you. God will reward you right now. Those of you serving, the Lord will reward you. Father, I pray in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, let the reward come upon you. Let the reward come upon you. The Lord will reward you. In the name of Jesus Christ, let the reward come upon you. Let the reward come upon you in the name of Jesus. The Lord reaches out to you to bless you. The Lord reaches out to you to bless you. The Lord will surprise you. Thank you, Jesus. that person it's a is your pancreas just lay your hands on your stomach you've been having unusual stomach pains your pancreas I think pancreas should be in stomach right pancreas 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 that's why here pancreas just lay your hands on your stomach you've been having that problem right now I pray for you in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth I release healing let healing come to your body in the name of Jesus, let healing come to your body. Healing come to your body. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, healing come to your body. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. The Lord is going to be touching some people's eyes and you begin to have visionary experiences. The Lord is going to be touching. You feel like fire in your eyes as I pray with you right now. You feel like fire in your eyes. The Lord will touch your eyes. The Lord will touch your eyes. You begin to have visionary experiences. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Let the wind of God touch your eyes. Let the wind of God touch your eyes. The wind of God, in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, the wind of God touches your eyes. In the name of Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. While Apostle was ministering, God told me about somebody amongst us and I don't know, there might be more than one um, the devil gives you food to eat in the dream and when you are done eating that food you become heavy I don't mean physically, spiritually let me clear this, it's possible for God to do an impartation for you it's possible for God to do an impartation for you in the dream by giving you food angel's bread is a spiritual one but this one I'm talking about the devil ministers it to you in the dream and when you are done eating it you wake up and feel less spiritual you feel this heaviness upon your body and upon your spirit if you are the one I would like to pray with you you want to pray Father thank you in the name of Jesus Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. I rebuke that spirit. I rebuke that spirit. 
in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Father. I rebuke that spirit in Jesus' name. Go! In the name of Jesus. Go! Thank you, Father. I thank you in the name of Jesus. You are free in the name of Jesus. You are delivered in the name of Jesus. You are free in Jesus' name. Thank you, Father. I declare freedom. Freedom in the name of Jesus. You are free in Jesus' name. Thank you, Jesus. He will minister to you. Who dropped this picture? What happened to the baby? It's dead. The baby was born crippled. That devil is a liar. What did they say? No socket. This baby will stand and will walk. Let me tell you, if your prayer request gets here, it will be answered. Let me pray for marriages. Lift your hands before I pray for this. Those three things and we done. Marriages. Hallelujah. The Bible says your marriage shall be a blessing. Your children will surround your table. Remember, we always share the scripture here. Please make sure you really lift your hands. Please lift inside and outside. I pray right now. Especially for those that have exceeded the normal time. You, you understand what I'm saying, right? The normal time that should happen. You're a man. You can't get a decent lady that is ready to settle down with you. And now as I'm praying this prayer, hear me. God is going to visit people. But some of you, if you know that you are not walking according to the ways of the Lord, stop it this night. Praise God. You can't be sleeping around, hopping around from man to man. One army officer to another one. One banker to another one. And then say, I don't have a husband. No, no. The Bible says, come out from among them and be ye separate. We are a holy people here and holiness is a big deal hallelujah praise the lord so as you are lifting up your hands make sure that you are making a commitment no sex before marriage don't let anybody deceive you i'm saying it straight to the point hallelujah no sex before marriage no caressing no all this nonsense that people do no don't don't open up yourself for demons you tie your soul with demonic things be sure that you are going to keep many Christian relationships are not pure. Because a lot of people think everybody is doing it. No, not everybody is doing it. Who shall ascend to the hill of the Lord? Who shall stand upon his own? So, sister, just get it straight. Don't say yes to any brother who plans to just, if he does not have enough patience to honor you and wait, whatever is pursuing him, let him carry it out of your life. Hallelujah. I need to say this before I pray for you. God is not a magician. Are you listening to me? This is not a herbal center. This is a place where miracles happen by definite kingdom principles. Hallelujah. So make sure as you are standing here to receive, you are serious with God. And you've been involved in all these things I'm talking about. Stop it this night. Stop it this night. Hallelujah. Lift your hands. Let me pray for you. Lift your hands. Father, you put this as an apostolic platform to help and to build people and to terminate the works of darkness. And Father, this night I pray for your people inside and outside and our online community. I declare every yoke of marital delay right now by the fire of the Holy Ghost by the fire of the Holy Ghost.
be free from it now be free from it now anyone here who is of a marriageable age right now we connect you to your life partner in the name of Jesus and I pray that anyone here who is under any yoke because there are some of you it's not just you all the ladies in your house some you notice that you marry almost at age 40 no matter what you do no matter how decent you are you will never just get a faithful man some of you is married men that keep chasing you as young as you are you can't get a godly brother you are coming to church you are serving in church the brothers are looking at you as if they are looking at this speaker and then it's only a married man with children that are old enough to be your age who will be disturbing you that yoke of bondage this night kapoto sheka repatote telebata aparato koposobata let that yoke be broken in the name of jesus let that yoke be broken i release you into your marital destiny i release you sisters i release you sisters i release you brothers i release you in the name of jesus christ hallelujah praise the lord now please is this all the prayer requests in one minute we are going to pray and then there are three areas three more areas i need to speak finance breakthrough this is very important please keep your spirit open if possible just be praying in tongues let me invite the ministers pastor williams please come bishop come we are going to pray pastor williams is going to lead us hallelujah let me tell you something as the servant of god is speaking on this thing and as we are agreeing i want you to this is not a ritual don't take it as a ritual the scriptural revelation behind this for those of you who are just coming the bible says how that listen 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 hezekiah took the threat letter are you listening to me a threat letter was written and the bible says he took it to the altar and dropped it before god when hannah needed a miracle the bible says she came to the altar are you hearing me this is the revelation behind this we don't do anything without revelation so i want you to connect everybody rise up and stretch your hands just stretch your hands towards this stage please those outside just stretch it towards your screen and begin to pray in tongues in the name of Jesus in the mighty name of Jesus in the name of Jesus oh Jehovah father of all spirits the great I am Mayida Subi Grunes in Amakata Sata, Lisa Pata Shekabara, the one that divided the Red Sea, Lika Ziprata Shetabara, the one that released manna, Paul released manna from heaven, Jehovah, in the name of your son Jesus Christ, I pray for miracles, miracles, miracles upon this prayer request, miracles, visitations, miracles, visitation. Far above, far above all they have written. Far above, far above connection, completion, perfections in the name of Jesus. Completions, perfections in the name of Jesus. Miracles, miracles, visitation, divine visitation. Jehovah, Jehovah, miracle worker upon this request. Breathe upon it. Breathe upon it. Breathe upon it. Let there be miracles. Let your people testify. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. 
Thank you, Lord. Bless your name, Jehovah. In Jesus' name we pray. It is done in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. We are a prosperous ministry. Are you hearing what I'm saying? We are a prosperous ministry. Mysteriously prosperous. By the hand of God. I believe in prosperity. Are you hearing what I'm saying? I believe you cannot truly represent the government of heaven with poverty. You cannot help the poor by being one of them. Are you hearing me? And I want to pray for you. Please believe. Lift your hands. See, listen. The irrefutable laws of prosperity remains tithing kingdom investments and your givings. They open the heaven and position you and then the blessings begin to come through divine ideas, favor, wisdom, the blessings of God upon your hands, strength and long life. Hallelujah. I want to encourage everybody. Please bring out a seed. I can't pray for you for prosperity just like that. Please. Please. This, if you don't have a revelation of what we are doing, just keep your seat. Please. This is not some. I won't help you. Let me tell you the truth. I'm not going to help you. It's not just about saying receive. No. Please. God has blessed you. You can help somebody by your side. Please. Bring out something that will cost you. Some of you are greedy and stingy. See, let me tell you something. I pray for you that giving grace will be part of your life. Many of you think God is out to rob. You can't outgive God. Hallelujah. The secret of prosperity is giving. It will never change. There are many of you God has been speaking to you. You won't listen. I can't tell you how many times God has instructed me to empty my accounts. If you see, if your heart is still on prosperity, God will never give you. He said, my son, give me your heart. Until you conquer greed, you are not entitled to handle true riches. Are you hearing what I'm saying? Please bring out the seed. Some of you will bring out something that will cost you. Let me tell you, don't pity yourself. Don't pity yourself at all. Don't make foolish, impulsive decisions. Are you hearing me? We are not manipulating people. Don't make stupid decisions that you come outside. And, no, no. Make some of you, God is speaking to you right now. Some of you need to stand for your families. Honestly, honestly. See, if the ministry is blessed and you are not blessed, it means we are fake. Something is wrong. Are you hearing me? I tell you, this, this prosperity oil, there is an oil. It will come upon some of you in a fearful way. Please, inside and outside, I beg you, if you don't have a seed, can you hold the hands of somebody who has a seed? Please, connect. Allow the person to hold your hands. Don't feel bad. Please stand up, everybody. This is a very serious thing. Lift your hands and lift your seed. Hear me? Solomon, there was a sacrifice upon the altar. And Solomon said, oh God, oh God, attend unto your people whenever they call you that you will respond. And the Bible says the glory, the Shekinah of God came and filled that room. I'm praying, I'm praying. See, I tell you, it, it, it pains my heart. It pains, we want you, to, the full gospel, you must represent the kingdom in its entirety. We don't just want you to be anointed and be begging and be sleeping with men for money. No. Are you hearing what I'm saying? Please lift. Some of you, what will come upon you is the giving grace. Because honestly, for some of you, is greed. Greed. Even to yourself. Lift it up. I want to pray. Oh, God has given us this anointing. And I want to pray, my God, it will happen. It's going to come on like fire. It will fall on many of you. Please help me. My God, I pray. 
the oil of prosperity the power to get wealth at the count of three my god let it fall mightily right now one two three take it take it take it take it take it shake it, take it. Take it. Take it. I activate it outside. I activate it. Let fire come upon your seed. I give your seed a voice in the spirit. It took a sacrifice to put your family in poverty. We use this sacrifice to bring them out of poverty. It took a sacrifice to enter a covenant of poverty. We take this seed and bring you into the realm of blessing. Psalm 66 verse 12. It said, Thou hast caused men to ride upon our heads. We walk through waters and through fire, but thou broughtest us into a wealthy place. My God. You know we are not fake. We are not just trying to do religious jamboree to take money from people. I pray, my God, I give your seed a voice and I instruct it. Go around the earth, gather your kind and return back to the owner. I prophesy under this apostolic unction. I speak to your seed. Go around the earth. Gather your kind, go around the earth, gather your kind, go around the earth, gather your kind, and return a hundredfold. Hallelujah. Please cast your seeds with joy quickly. Help me. Please bring the offering basket. Hallelujah. Now I want to pray. Finally, before the altar call, breakthroughs. There are families that need major breakthroughs. Are you hearing me? There are some of you, your, the way from the day they gave birth to you, you have never celebrated entering a house that God gave your own family. Embarrassment after embarrassment. Every time they start a building project, rain will wash it or something satanic will happen. Breakthrough is when the limitations that are stopping you are taken away. Lift your hands. The Bible says, Thou shalt break forth on the right and on the left. Thou shalt break forth. Please receive it. Some of you need to call your loved ones and say, Look, a prayer was prayed. There are some houses that have been built. Ten years. Ten years is a cost. It's a cause, I'm telling you. There are some people, they are, they are lecturers, but they are still begging for money to feed. This is, this is the yoke of bondage. There are families that live from hand to mouth. Some of you, as you are looking at me now, you are the ones who are the breadwinners of your entire family, as young as you are. It ought not to be so. The Bible says a good man lives an inheritance not taken from his children's children lift your hands please where is the God that brings breakthrough where is that God that changed the story of Samaria by the mouth of the prophet where is that God that instructed the prophet to say by this time my God and my King I pray for koinonia in the name of Jesus let this breaker anointing like the angel of death in the days of Moses let this breakthrough anointing begin to go from house to house house to house house to house we send it to Abuja we send it to Zaria we send it to Kogi State we send it to Lagos we send it to Kaduna like the angel of death visited his home this night this night, this night, I speak, this night, let this anointing go to families and create the Garden of Eden. Let it create the Garden of Eden. 
Hallelujah. Hallelujah. How many of you have noticed the sudden death of professors? How many of you have noticed it? Have you seen the way lecturers are dying like chickens? How many of you know it's not normal? See, the Bible says they know not. You do not know what is happening. This night, this night, the angel of the Lord will move across ABU. Are you hearing me? Altars of darkness will be destroyed. See, this is why God put centers like this. To legislate on behalf of territories. The apostolic grace is not for making mouth. It's for taking charge. It's a rule thou in the midst of your enemies. The church is the light of the world. The church cannot be here and things are happening. If your father is a lecturer or you live with a lecturer, I want you to lift your hands. We want to prophesy that oil of exemption. Hallelujah. It's terrible. People are afraid right now because nobody knows who is next. I pray for you. See, when the angel of death, hear me, when the angel of death came to Goshen and Egypt, the angel of death killed everybody. It's just that when he came, he found out that some houses were already killed. When he saw blood on their house, he said, these people are already died. And he passed by. I pray, that blood of sprinkling, that blood, he said, when I see the blood, Rabato Koparatata, not by accident, not by terrorism. In the name of the Lord Jesus, I command supernatural preservation. Receive it now. Supernatural preservation. Receive it now. Every lecturer in APU and in all the institutions in this town, Ragagagagagabakata, Deketa Palataka, because I already see the arrows of death on some lecturers. The Lord is ministering to me, and I'm seeing that between now and December 4, I see four other professors going, but we stop it, we change it in the name of Jesus. We stop it, we change it, we stop it, we change it, we stop it. He said, The heaven of heavens, Mapatakata, Rakatapata, Beto Potokota Labatika. The heaven of heavens belongs to the Lord, but the earth has He given. Now, let me pray for you. You, 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 you have no covenant with death. We are entering the ember months now. Hallelujah. Please, see, take seriously the things that happen here. Are you hearing me? Liver is the power of God that is bringing her up stage. It's a sign and a wonder. Just cover her. Hallelujah. Please, we're out of time. I want to pray for you. Lift your hands. See, listen. Hear me, those inside and outside. Never believe hear me please now and i don't want you to feel bad i know that there are a lot of people here that have had to lose loved ones who have stood by you but don't let the death of your loved one suddenly make you give room for satan and say he can ride into your family anytime are you hearing what i'm saying every time death is ravaging people god will summon the people and anoint men to lift up a cry i want to pray for you ember month is the time when people Look at how many people just graduate from ABU. Going back, they die. Don't tell me that's the will of God. Some of you, as they are giving your parents work, that's it. If there is a shrine, there is a greater shrine. See, this is the speaking of altars. Every altar speaks us that the blood of Jesus speak get better things I want to speak on behalf of people lift your hands please because many of us travel there are some of us who are in business
you travel to Lagos, you travel to Kotono. Some of you are moving around. Some of you are coming from different places. My Duguri, Joss, Bauchi. Come out of her now. Out. Out of her. Now. A very violent spirit. Lift your hands. Say after me, Father, in the name of Jesus, I declare that I am protected from the arrows that fly by day and the noisome pestilence. I declare that throughout this year, I have no covenant with the spirit of death. Say, death, hear my voice. I am an ambassador and in the name of Jesus the seal of the blood is upon me I am protected my family members are protected father in the name of Jesus I believe your word and I declare that I enjoy supernatural preservation in my going out and in my coming in say in my going out and in my coming in therefore i pray for you that as you have declared let your eyes live to see the experience in the name of jesus christ hallelujah hallelujah you've not given your heart to jesus please remain standing everyone here please remain standing hallelujah you have not given your heart to the Lord Jesus Christ this is a family this is where we are ready to introduce you to the love of your life the Bible says whoever will come to him he will in no wise cast away many of us have been struggling you've been struggling some of you are born again you've given your heart to the Lord truly but there are encumbrances pushing you away from God. Right now, please everybody stand. I know you've been standing. Please stand for one last time. Inside and outside, let's honor God. And let's honor the greatest miracle that is about to happen. Young and old, rich or poor, as you hear my voice, the Holy Ghost is going to be talking to some of you. And it's going to tell you it is time. The Bible says in the day that you hear his voice, harden not your heart. You've never given your heart to the Lord or you have found yourself derailing. I don't care what you have done. There is a home for you tonight. As everybody begins to appreciate them, I want you to leave your seat and come out right now. Everybody come out from outside. God bless you. Outside sister, brother, don't sit back. People are coming. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Don't sit back. Don't wait for somebody to come. Please keep clapping, Koinonia. No devil will stop you. God bless you, sir. God bless you. They are coming. Please appreciate them. Don't sit back. There are a lot of you outside. God is speaking to you. Brothers, God is speaking to a lot of brothers outside. Don't let your friends stop you. Don't let your friends stop you. Keep coming. Keep coming. Thank God for the harvest. Keep coming. Keep coming. The devil that will stop you from being saved has been defeated. Keep coming. Keep coming. Keep coming. Keep coming. Keep coming. Keep coming, 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 keep coming. Thank you for watching our entire video today. If you feel you can bless someone, please join us and spread the gospel by sharing this video on your social media.